I click it. Welcome the in, everybody. How is oh, everybody hi, doing tonight? Thank, welcome in, Lady M. Welcome joining us. How is everybody tonight? I hope everybody's doing wonderful, doing well. It is the 29th of January. In a couple days, these lovely giveaways are going to be done. And we'll not be able to get, get them after that because the giveaways will be done. There's two sets. Come to our Discord, exclamation point Discord. Join our Discord. Enter in the giveaways. The Hot Cocoa Dice is the most popular one right now. I think we got 38 entries for that one, 34 for the Christmas lights, and I think like 32 for the snow or something like that. I don't know why. A lot of people don't like the snow or something. I don't know. There's two like sets the of those. chocolate of dice. Yeah. Uh, there's two sets of each. There'll be two winners of each. And like I've been saying, those will be my last giveaways I'll be doing until I get to California, and which will be like July or something. And I think Weasel's going to be giving away some games or something in that time I span. Some or some, Steam keys. Something like that. I don't know. Because they involve free shipping. <laughs> Yeah, I got to ship all these things, too, guys. <laughs> um, yep. My luck could be, like, every one of them be across the world, so I'm going to have to pay double the shipping. But anyway, make sure you join our Discord. Exclamation point Discord gives you the link to our Discord, and uh, you can come in and enter the giveaways for those. Uh, and if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part of the campaign is so far. We do have the Black Order come exclusively to YouTube. I still got, I was, I was telling Nerd Holler in her stream earlier today that uh, all their minis are looking at me, taunting me, because I need to paint them all. And I'm just like, Ugh, shoot me now, shoot me now. So, uh, but that'll be coming exclusive. Uh, I'm still waiting on a, some art, and I still got to put together the overlays. I got the overlays back. They look amazing. I can't wait. Uh, so make sure you go check those out. Dragonlance is not going to happen this week. We're going to have a meeting. Uh, so Dragonlance will, because one of the players have to leave early anyway, but we need to have a meeting about some stuff. So we will not have Dragonlance this week. We'll be back next week for that. And I think that's about it. I'll probably do, as I just said, I'll have to do some painting streams or something for these miniatures. Get them off my face. So that being said, I'll turn it over to our lovely, lovely streamers in tonight's game. JR, the nerd. I love it when you call me lovely. Um, JR, the nerd. Uh, tomorrow night is girls' night, uh, even though I'm not a girl, but we have an all-girl campaign. Uh, we are very close to the climax of Maiden's Mayhem, but we're going to be one person out, so we're going to do our alternate campaign, Feast's Playtime, with a bunch of edgelord, edgelord clerics, just like Yisam. Um and then on uh on sundays uh this coming sunday we're off uh but two sundays from now we're gonna resume our battle with the yoga instructor kenneth with a y as the party uh faces this new phase of their fitness journey and then what else is going on sundays saturday uh, what about other, us we come back saturday, saturday. Yes, we are coming back every other Saturday. Uh, I am hoping to start Tomb of Annihilation in March. Like, I'm really close. I got to read the module and all this stuff. I'm really excited. It's the first time I've actually done a module. But I've been a player in Tomb before, and I've been wanting to run Tomb for a really, really long time. Uh, so, so I'm pretty excited about that. But it's going to be about a month out before we start that. And in the meantime, every other Saturday, uh, including this Saturday, you can catch us uh, with either Hawick or another, like some of our one shots and stuff. So please come and check me out. Thank you. And then we have our lovely Silver Wolf. You're muted. I am muted. Okay. We need to come over the drinking game for every, how many times the that's party that's, has been muted. That's, 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 I can't get drunk on a Monday. <laughs> I mean, you so could. You work, I mean, I will, but I should. <laughs> um, do I just do like pickle juice shots? Because I don't drink alcohol. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Silver Wolf will be live on Friday, so I'm not sure what she's doing this week. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing this week. Hopefully, Apex with the guys. I'm not sure yet. It's still up in the air. But I have to actually shrink it down again to every other Friday due to some in-home things I gotta deal with, so. 
every other Friday I'll be streaming until I can get back to normal. Do we get a shout out for Lady M also? Sure. She's a wonderful streamer. You should go check her out during the days playing Stardew Valley. And then she started some D&D uh, &D content on her channel as well. I think that's it for our announcements. Um, yeah. Guys, get ready to be traumatized tonight. Don't do this <laughs> to me. Uh-oh. So grab your goblet, sit back, relax, it, and enjoy the show. <laughs> also, welcome, like back. Welcome, back. <laughs> welcome back welcome back welcome back that was so fast <laughs> what we're back sorry i got excited uh asam jr rolled the lowest tonight so would you like to lead us into the night's recap third thing all right uh so isam a little bit bloodied from the battle that just happened takes a break to whisper something to himself. And he says, uh, Queen of Night, keeper of the spaces in between, mistress of secrets. I have a whisper I wish to reach beyond the veil to Shadira Ziltok. If you were still alive, I, you would be 130 today. I don't know what mysteries death holds. If those who've cared for each other meet in the eternal dark, but if you don't know, your daughter is dead. She was taken in a raid that uh, was worse than the one that you died in. I don't know how much of our village is left, how much is rebuilt, but when I left far too long ago, there was nothing but ashes. <clears throat> I don't know if it was the Black Order that took us or if it was someone else, but it doesn't even matter if it was the Black Order who bought us, who profit from the fi and finance all of this brutality. I tried to keep her alive as long as possible in the arena from the sidelines and I failed. It was then that the Living Stairs bought me and most recently tasked me with keeping someone else alive this time. One of them is the infamous Scourge of the Seas, the Feathered Fiend himself, who <laughs> confirmed actually that the octopus story was true. I don't know how he managed all of those tentacles, but it's, it's impressive. Uh, our job from the Livingsters was to intercept a carriage. The Feathered Fiend, Jean Paul, drafted a false letter from the Webwells instructing our victims to hand over their cart to to us uh once they arrived the letter was flawless but somehow it didn't work and uh, and they decided to use the notice toilet paper which can't have been very comfortable and was a very unexpected choice um 
during the pa initial planning process a few days ago, I had been exiled to the corner, so I wasn't paying very careful attention. But apparently in the end, it involved placing the bard, the witch, and the warlock on the very front lines while the martial classes were in the back and the guards were in the very back doing nothing. Um, the uh, the tinker named Glitch made some magic armor for Kalos, our sanctimonious paladin, and Arwenis. I think you'd actually like Arwenis the most if you had lived to meet her. Um, long story short, the weakest of us were in the front when things went poorly. Uh, Providence, the Asimar I find particularly disturbing, asked me to keep her immensely unstable friend Fane alive. Um, to my surprise, when push came to shove, it was actually Fane who kept me alive. I owe her a great debt. She's in terrible condition at the moment, and I've truly done nothing for her. Um, this was no normal transport. It had a harpy painted on the side of the cart, and there was a deadly assassin protecting it. And as much as I hate to admit it, without Providence, that assassin would have killed us all. <laughs> it was the Black Order. The guards executed everyone before we had the chance to question them. I fear that might be a sign that the Livingsters are up to something they don't want us to know about. And the driver turned out to be some sort of creature with the ability to teleport. Um, no one told them that we were sent by the Livingsters as we'd been instructed to do, um, but they did see us, and it appears that we are marked as their enemy, however much danger that, that might put us in. I fear what their cargo is, but I want to find out very fast. So while everyone else is looting the bodies, Isam will go to the cart and look inside. Right. We're looting bodies? I think that's yeah. where we left off. It, we were, he was like, hey, you guys want loot? And you guys were like, yes. But let's Someone, yeah. <laughs> yeah, said, let's Someone needs better armor. All right. So... You want to look in the cart? You want to try to open the cart? Go ahead and uh, yes. try to open the cart, Taya, or Isam. All right, Isam is going to walk up to the door very quickly and turn the Give me a dexterity saving throw. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> it's okay. We're all at, like, kind of somewhere in our health range. Give me a second here. That is a 12. 12. Take two points of bludgeoning damage as the door hits you in the head as you go to get the door open. As this probably like no more than 12 or 13 year old kid runs out. <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> no! Tate's off, bolts off to these bodies that one of the two of the bodies that has been murdered starts bawling and crying. Thank you, uh, McLover. McLover. Thank you for the resub. McLover. 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 Uh, thank you for the subscription. You can give advantage to anybody you like. Just put it in chat. This uh, child is runs and says, Mom! Dad! No! Starts bawling. Who are you people? Prue? <laughs> yeah? I don't know what to say to this child. Um... Um, can, <laughs> can you come here? I'm not good with children. Kalos is just standing there with a bloody hammer. And like, I, it just throws it. Like, he does not know what to do right now. Uh, Fane, Fane, can you hold this, please? And she gives you her sword. Yeah. And she runs over to the little girl. Uh, is it a girl or a boy? Or gender neutral? Mm. Hello. It is a female. <laughs> oh, um, hi. Um, what's your name? 
<laughs> Screw you, you killed my parents! Who the fuck are you? Uh, my name is Providence. And we were here, um... <laughs> because... Who sent you? Oh, uh, their names are Edward uh, Livingster and uh, Nira Livingster. If y'all want to say the twins send their regards, that would be awesome. The Come twins say thank you for their birthday gift. <laughs> now, can you tell me who you are? I called it. I called it. This dice rolled me natural 20s all day yesterday. The first roll is a natural one. Good. Awesome. Uh, Providence, you get an opportunity attack or whatever you want for this child as it tries to kneecap you and completely miss. Uh, I will just let the child's hands like swing right by me and it just doesn't, doesn't even like phase me. Um, I'm assuming it's not a very strong child. Well, I rolled net one to completely miss. So it gets you opportunity to react to it. Uh, I'll just step back. Um. I know you're angry. Um, sometimes things that we don't like happen in life. Um, I am now an orphan, thanks to you. Uh, I'm casting Detect Thoughts. I'm also an orphan. That's that's great. Um, life is tough. Oh. And I don't, I don't, guys, I don't know what I'm saying here. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, hey, kid. Catch. I'm going to throw my lucky rocket at them, at her. <laughs> Roll, <laughs> my God, roll an attack. Uh, just, just like a, well, Maybe like unarmed or? specify that it's a non-lethal toss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not anything, so. Uh, that is also a nat one. <laughs> so. Good start. For Good total start of. Today. Uh, for to are we using unarmed strike? Or? I don't matter. You send that one, so you completely miss. It would be a total of two of his with the unarmed strike. Asher, yeah. roll roll your damage. Roll my damage for for a rock. I don't have damage for a rock. If it's using unarmed strike, it's a negative one. <laughs> no, it's healed. a dexterity. It's be dexterity. Dexterity. All right. So, what do you, uh, I don't know? What do you want me to use to what roll die would you like me to use? <laughs> this isn't actually something on my character sheet. I just roll like a d6. I... It's like throwing a pebble. It's like, without it, it's okay. You know what? I'm not gonna. That is a five, and my dex modifier is a plus two. All right, roll a d4. That was a little bit too high. Daggers <laughs> <laughs> are like d4. One, and my dexterity uh, modifier is a plus two. One. It's okay. I have so I have spare the dying. Ready. Providence, you take three <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage as this rock hits you on the back of the head. Bane, sorry, you you guys were supposed to catch. Here, try again, catch, because it comes back. <laughs> Could I ask really quick? Is there anything else inside the? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I was so sort of trying to get the point across. There's a crying little girl. Uh, there is also a, let me put this, I was, I need to do this, I forgot to do this earlier, so let me put the image as a handout for the stream. At this point, I would have came around the cart, I figure I yeah. should have mentioned that. Yeah, somebody with a charisma-based, uh, please come here. <laughs> I will walk forward. Here comes Kalis. <laughs> Uh, Pru is trying to consult this child. It is not working. Okay. I'm gonna just start poking the kid in the in the forehead. Fain, Fain, no, don't, don't do it'll that. Work, it'll no. work. Watch. Fain, Fain, no, I'm I'm telling you this is not the approach right now. She's she's scared. Yeah. You remember being scared too, right? Nope. Fain, do you remember when you came? Temple. Please you... finish that sentence. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to change the music. It's still. Uh, you do. Uh, it's, um, you do see an individual full plate armor, gold like plating, and in the chest is an engraved goblet that's gold plated. Uh, he has a black, grayish, 
goatee, uh, messy black hair. Has a nice little tan, a few scars. Uh, just kind of bound and gagged, sitting in the cart. And the little girl, she just turns and starts running down the tunnel. Uh, dexterity saving throw. I'd like to catch this child. What did you get? Uh, hold on. I get advantage on these two. Uh, 18. Yeah, you do catch her. Uh, just, just. Does just a ten? On. Does a ten hit you? <laughs> no. So she, as you catch her, she tries to bite. Now she's trying to actively cluck, get out of your arms. Someone, someone help her. I don't want to hurt a child. Someone, somebody, come here. Um, I, can I try to grapple the child? Hey, Michael, we cannot grapple a child any more than we already. It's okay. I'm probably smaller than this child. You can hit. Uh, try to grapple. Yep. Uh, with advantage because Providence is already holding her. Cool. That's athletics, yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, guys. I'm I'm great at these. Well, I mean, I am when I roll a nat twenty, so that's a total of eighteen. Yeah, you. you sh- Providence has her bike by, by the chest, and you go come up and grab the legs, and y'all just holding this poor child, just kicking and screaming. <laughs> And she tries to bite Providence again. Can't roll higher than an eight. Nope. I'm just going to reach up and start just like petting her face. Okay, we're going to go over. We're going to talk to some of my friends. You're okay. I know this is a big change. But things have happened for a reason. I don't know those reasons, but things are happening. As you go to pull away from the child, something oh, is no, I'm. Well, I'm carrying her. I know. As you go to try to pull away with the child, something is holding her there. Pain, let go. The form, yeah, go the form reveals white hair, light blue skin. She had just, she has a deck of cards in her hand. She says, "Let go of the child." I don't know who you are. Who sent you? The Livingsters say thank you for their birthday gift. So did the child, sorry, did the child change into this creature? No. It's the one that uh, Jean-Pierre saw and she reappeared holding the child. Fine. (laughs) The child in her disappear as she pulled a card. And you no longer feel the child in your hand. That was disturbing. I I stopped trying to pet the child's face. What's going on? People keep disappearing. What does that mean? That people keep disappearing. Some somebody just appeared. They were holding onto the child, and then they wanted to know who sent us. So I told them, and then her and the child just just, just vanished. I'm casting detect thoughts, and walking up towards where they were. Yeah, Jugan. Actually, Kalis actually did cast detect thoughts earlier. I did. Okay. Because I was wanting to try and figure uh, out what the uh, little girl was thinking, but oh, how far away does that reach? Thirty feet. Was you in thirty feet? I'm walking up towards them. Okay, so and it lasts for ten minutes. Okay. So, uh, if you were thinking, well, you're casting the Tet thoughts on her. Does she have to make a save? Uh, no, I just sense if they're still around. Are you yeah, so? Are you trying to sense her. like when they were grappling them, or if you're trying to sense? Well, now? after she said, "Some lady just appeared, and they both 
disappeared. I'm, I'm I asking. Sure. I was asking. Did you cast it before that happened? Oh yeah, I cast it ago. way back before the girl ran off. Yeah. Okay. So you would yeah, have detected been... her thoughts, and all you would have got was like uh, memories of her being a child with her uh, in the arms of the her parents and stuff. And which ones are her parents? The the one that initially talking to y'all, and the other one. So base mostly ones with the blades. Okay, the ones that started the fight. Yeah, the uh, the ones that had the blades. The ones that started. The, the ones fight. that started the fight. The ones that started the fight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. We end fights. We don't start fights. Yeah. But uh, those were her parents. Um, not the big brutes, or whatever. It was the other ones. And um, yeah. Uh, who did y'all want to loot the bodies? I want to make sure that those two people yeah. aren't. You do still... not have to tat them anymore. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm going to look if any of them have light armor that's better than leather. I assume I'm coming around the side of the of the of the wagon at this point. It's just like, hey, there guys. Hey guys, there's this uh there's this lady. Oh, hey, you guys look like you saw her. Uh like Smurfette, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. like that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, I don't have to explain well, it then. Well, while they're doing that, Isan's gonna enter the carriage and close the door behind him. Okay. Also, uh, Kalis would pick up that there's somebody alive in that carriage, right? Yeah, with detect thoughts, they actually determine um, if there's somebody within, like, was it 30 feet? 30 feet. So does Kalis still sense the child? No, no. he said I did. Okay, thank you. But you but sense I everybody else's just... thoughts. You want to go through what everybody else's well, thoughts? Well, I don't want to. No, I, I already <laughs> told them all. Like, their thoughts are their own. So I only use this for navigational. Um, mm -hmm. But I yeah. would have detected sure the thoughts in the carriage, right? Uh, does it go through walls? Yes. Unless that carriage is made out of a foot of lead. You're going to aggravate me with this spell, ain't you? This whole campaign. 100%. I told you I'm using it for navigation. <laughs> Are you just trying to detect the surface thoughts? No, I just... I want to know that Kalis pinged that there is somebody in there. Yes, there's somebody in the car. Up. So, okay. But are you trying to read their mind? No. Okay, so I don't need to give you any extra information. No. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, let me check one more person. The last stat block that y'all fought. Let's see if they had anything more than leather armor. Ah. So as you, who's searching the bodies? Me. And Fane. Fane. All right, I'm give me investigation check. Brain. You can do separately, or one of y'all can help each other. I will help you. I all right, I'm at plus zero, so we'll see how this goes. I'm a, I'm a, uh, what is it? Negative Maybe one. Better than, no. Oh, no. okay, yeah. <laughs> Dragon of Death. Hello there. I don't know why the uh, word thing. Advantage. Off. Yep. Sixteen. That's not bad. Uh, sixteen. Hello. Uh, you do find that the one that was initially shooting you with the um, mm -hmm. arrows. Uh, that one does have studded leather armor. The rest of them have regular leather armor. Okay. The, the studded leather armor is going to have to be repaired hmm. from all okay. the spears and slashes that person took. Kind of same. Like a few. Well, all those guards came up and. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, well, fine. Um, Do they have any 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 um, poison left on them? Well, if you give me a second, I was going to describe. Oh, sorry. Hmm. I got excited. You find ten poison arrows. Hey, hey, hey! Um, ex carrot uh, man. If if I get two, you can have the other eight. If you don't tell the adults. Uh, I. 
<laughs> All right, I'm, that's fine by me. Uh, so uh, I don't know if poison arrow is an actual item. If not, just add one d4 extra poison damage with it. Um, you also find well, amongst them twenty five gold pieces, fifteen copper pieces. And 15 silver pieces. Must the 25 bodies. gold and then 15 copper and silver? Yep. 15 copper and then 15 silver. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then uh, there's more in the carriage, but you just search the bodies. Mm -hmm. All right. And Sam, you're inside the carts. By yourself with him. He's gonna put his uh, finger over his lips, like this, mm -hmm. and then he's gonna gently lower the gag and uh, kind of drop down to his level. Uh, let me give y'all what art he looks like. If you're, unless you have the stream up and see, I've it. got the stream up and I see it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not cheating. Yeah, I meant I was. I'm trying. I'll put it in Zoom. Uh, I gave it to Fane. I'll just put it in the Discord. Zoom. I'll just put it in the Discord. Does anybody else remember the TV show Zoom from when we were kids on PBS with all the kids that would like do science stuff? Yes, <laughs> I missed that show. Oh. No, hey. There you go. Cam sent me a thing. Yeah, I sent it to you, but I thought I was sending it to the whole party. I just dropped it in uh, the chat. All right. So you did the, this. And yeah. And then I gently lower his uh, uh, gag. Who are you? Where am I? I'm hoping possibly we can help each other. But would you mind asking, uh, answering a couple of questions first? Do I have a choice? Of course you do. <laughs> well, uh, let's just say, depending on the questions, I might. Do you know where they were taking you? No. Do you know why they took you? I have assumptions. And? Who are you? You spent me to do all this information. I don't know who the fuck you are. You don't, but it's possible that I could be better than your previous captors. Well, you already unged me, so are they still alive? Most of them are dead. Uh, the girl, the young girl, was she one of your captors as well? No, she's one of the daughters of them. Mm. I don't know if it's take your daughter to work day or something, but... It's a dangerous profession. I'm sorry, he is... He's gat. He's tied yeah. up still. I don't know if it's take your daughter to work day or something, but... Dangerous profession to, to visit. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't have a... I don't know. What did the Black Order want with you? Well, we've been actively fighting them for years. My order, their order. So you're a prisoner, and why would they be bringing you to... Woodwell. Oh, that's what well, I don't know who they're taking me to, but I, I, I only can imagine that uh, the person who I work for it, I'd never met. And how, why would that make you? Are you an enemy of the Woodwells or a friend of the Woodwells? I don't know who the Woodwells are. 
I just know who the Black Order is. I don't know who my order are. We've been, our orders have been fighting each other for years. I thought I answered this. I was just trying to piece some things together. Um, yeah, I can only imagine I. The person who introverted, uh, introverted whatever, got close, got me. Some shapeshifter. Like, uh, could they have, could they turn we'll see how smart he is. Hat. I, uh, I've only met people like this. Uh, they're called changelings. But uh, I can imagine they probably targeted me because they're trying to get to my boss. Your boss who's fighting the Black Order. <laughs> A boss that I never met. Only through letters. So you're like an anarchist, so. And, uh, what? Uh, a decentralized network that's resisting a power. No. Oh, oh. My order is ordered to Goblin. Have you never heard of us? Has Esam ever heard of them? No. No, I, I'm afraid I haven't. Wow. My order and the Black Order has been in arms. You know, when there's a good one, there's a bad one. For different views, whoever side you take. Does anybody else ever open the door or he's just going to, y'all just going to leave him? Um, no, I, I, I'm, I'm there at the door, so I want to open the door. Like, I got offended that he closed the door in my face. Like, <laughs> can't open the door. Oh, you have friends. What is going on in here? Having a little chat, that's all. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, what was your name? My name is... Sir Frederick Strong, the Honorable. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sir Frederick. Road. But yes, uh, Honorness. Strong? Strong. Like, strong. Like strong. What does it look like when Providence heals herself with healing hands? <laughs> Um, for her, it looks very, um, very radiant as if there's like a, a surge of energy that builds up underneath her hands where she touches the skin. And so it'll like, uh, sorry, Cam, uh, it'll like, she'll put her hands usually on the chest and she'll just like push the energy into a person. So it'll be a little bit of push and glowing underneath and her she eyes glow it to herself. What does it look like? Same. Right. Uh, Isam's going to kind of clasp his hands together in a largely failed attempt to be discreet. And identically the same things ha are going to happen. Like his hands will glow with this like sort of like golden celestial radiance, like even closed between each other. His eyes will glow for a moment and then he's going to step out of the cart. Who are you people? And... This man is tied up, right? You? Yeah, okay, I see. First off, I want to get help. Yeah, he's tied okay. up. He was gagged, but he was no longer gagged. All right. Just a quick question. Did I see what Isam just did? I was inside the cart. Okay. But I think Arwenus would have seen it. Uh, yeah, I saw him. We're going to talk later. Right now, we need to get this man untied and see... Why they want him? Well, while they do that, Isam's gonna walk over to like where that rock is. He's gonna make eye contact with uh, with Providence, and he's gonna call the guards over. Oh, yeah, I forgot the guards were there. And he's going to uh, <sighs> he's gonna activate the vigilant blessing. To, one with the gods of air that he does, it gives him advantage on initiative. You're 
initiative? What kind of initiative? In combat. You gonna fight the guards? He's moving, like, he's gonna try to move at least, he's gonna call them over guards. I have something I want to, I want to show you. Uh, and he's gonna try to call them over, uh, so that he's at least 20 feet away from the cart. Uh, and maybe- Give me a deception check. Down. All right. Uh, 17. Let me see. Uh, three of them definitely did not incite you high enough. But let me see what the other one did. What is the insight that is a wisdom, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, she was the modifier. All right. So, okay, all four of them start walking over. Um, if Prue went over there, I would be aware of that. Wouldn't necessarily follow or anything, but I'd. It's on my radar. All right, where is everybody at in this moment? If we're about to have combat, I am. In I'm with Arwen in there. And I, I am attempting to untie this man. I'd be somewhere near Fan, I suppose. I would be I would. by the fallen foyer trying to hide arrows. Arnus is inside the cart. Yep. And we didn't take a rest, guys. I could use two more spell slots right now. Sorry, so sorry. Sounds like a you problem. Is Fane close enough for me to heal her? I'm I'm fine. I'm I'm doing okay. Are you serious? Like legitimately? Yeah. I'm above okay. half. Okay. She means three hit points. All right. Where is everybody else at? Sean <laughs> Pierre, you walked around. We have glitch. Where y'all at? There I am. Lich is going to be checking on the horses. All right. Wonder why we're not leaving. Jean Pierre? Uh, somewhere next to Fane, I suppose. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, that works. Just a quick check. Can Providence see if anybody is feeling, looking like they're looking a little under health right now? I'm a bet. Half. Oh shoot, I forgot my max health went up. I am just, just below half, but still fine. Okay, um, Ain, would you like healing or I can give it to JP? I think JP is really hurt, I say as I hold my backpack behind me. I'll be, I'll be fine. Hey, uh, Feathers, you doing okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure? Yeah, because... Sure, cause... I, th I think you need a little, I don't know, just a little pick-me-up. Just, you know. I, I should stay. You're good! Her. And then she casts a uh, healing word, which is just, right. you're good. <laughs> <laughs> um, And you get uh, five hit points. Oh, I can't I do a so. lot. I'm not actually a cleric. I'll, I'll take what I can get, I <laughs> suppose. I'm, just, I'm still, uh, I have my disguise self up. Uh, I should I should mention. Oh, why don't you look like one of the parents? <laughs> I. You don't know how I was I was like oh my god I was so tempted to do that. Uh, yes, what could oh. go wrong? <laughs> uh -huh. Well, Feathers just has a kid now. Mm. <laughs> cool. What's, Probably, what's, yeah. what's one more? You know. <laughs> Yeah, how many kids do uh, Kenkus have, I wonder? All of them? Do Desley eight? Yes. Uh, that's how it is written. Usually not a lot, but John has ten. 
So I don't know if I've, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I, I feel like I, I feel like I have. I don't have think I you've ever okay. told us you have ten children, but that's I've okay. named we all of them. Get, we can get <laughs> to that later. Yeah, we can get you that later. This time round. Ah, yeah. Right. Oh, right. Yeah, the other. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, uh, what are we doing? As the guards uh, start he, uh, walking uh, over, Isam is like, like if if Providence is following him, he kind of shakes his head no a little bit to her. Uh, and he wants to get maybe if you could put him like a little bit further south, I guess, like towards the bottom of the camera. Uh, he wants to call all the guards around in a circle around him. No, 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 other uh, way down the other way. So around uh, the camera. that way, straight yeah. away from the carriage, away from the carriage. Yes, he basically wants to be out of sight from the rest of the group. No, uh, to the right there of the right. Uh, so the towards between the guards and the boulder, south yeah, of the so carriage. The... Where had you yeah. at? No, no, just a little lower. <laughs> and so he's gonna try to get them all within five feet of him as he motions to show them something. Uh, I think Providence is suspecting something is gonna happen, so she's gonna circle behind. You're not going to be able to get all five of them. Is there four or five? There's only four. Where's, where's four the, of them. You just said five. I said, he said within five feet of them. I'm just saying you're not going to be able to get them yeah. all within five feet. Go three down okay. and push two up. Uh, they won't go. Get... <laughs> <laughs> you can, can, they're going to walk up to you. You're not going to have, they're yeah. not going to just straight out listen and tell you, listen to where you want them to stand. Can he get both a bonus action and an action as a surprise round and do them simultaneously? Are you twin spelling it? Uh, no. I'll I let you have gonna... one of them, not both of them. All right. Then he will, it would have looked cooler. Uh, yeah, it would look but... cooler, but you're trying to cast <laughs> two spells at the same time, which they're one separate the... spells. You no, know, one is a not... spell. One is a spell, and the other one is his, uh, would have been his, uh, the celestial relevation, but I can save that for another day. He basically wants a bon he wants a bonus round. For a surprise round, and in his surprise round, can he do a spell and a uh, class feature or a race feature? Oh, they're both actions. One is no, a bonus one action. Is a bonus one is a... action. One is an action. Uh, I'll let you choose one, and then we'll have you roll initiative, and then see. It. Let's see where you place that on initiative roll. Okay. Okay. Because as soon as you do something, they're going to react. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, Jugen, for aesthetic this. purposes. I just, I can, can I ask what, uh, how long has it been since we finished combat? Like, like a three or four minutes? minutes. Okay. So then emboldening bond is still up. Well, that combat lasted a while, though. Oh, wait, how no, long? It lasted how long 10 minutes. If it, oh. if it was like three rounds, mm. that's like. Two minutes. 18 uh, seconds. Yeah, no, it's yeah. less than half a minute. Yeah. So if it's only been a couple seconds. of minutes, emboldening boss I, I'm actually ten. going to say it's probably been, I'll say you have about two minutes left of it. Okay. Ooh, 20 rounds, guys. Let's not take more than 20 rounds. <laughs> God damn it. Let me restart. Again, I keep want, uh, start the combat without you guys rolling initiative. Uh, let yeah, me... uh, Providence is going to cycle around behind them. And she's gonna grab her sword back from Fane. It starts glowing immediately. Yeah. All right. Uh, everybody, roll initiative for me, please. Jugen, can you please move me behind the guards? Okay. Fifteen. I'll take it. On your turn. Ew, gross. No, Jugen, we haven't started yet. I like. I am doing this as. Um. Okay. Whatever. Roll, roll an insight check to see if you catch My what God. he's doing, and then I'll allow it. I give great guidance. These, these are so His rolls. deception check was way higher than 11. 
All right, Glitch, you got, uh, let's see, Arnis, you got 11. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I have Emboldening Bond up, so I'm using that on my initiative. Oh, we can do that? Hold on. So guys. I am a, an 11 for initiative as well. Hold up, hold up. So, uh, JP, you also have an uh, Emboldening Bond. Oh, sick. I think. I think I gave it to you and, and Faye. I definitely had it. I don't no, know. I don't think it was. It wasn't me. It, it was Isam. It was Isam. Yeah. Isam, what was it? Wait, you no, I didn't have emboldening bombs. No, was, was it Camus? It was someone. No, nope. it definitely wasn't me. I know that for sure. It, it might have been glitch. Me. Oh, it was glitch because he was standing right beside me. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, glitch, you have emboldening bond. Uh. <laughs> John, you got a 15. Correct. Right. Anybody getting natural ones? No, I got a two. Also, did you get that I rolled a one on my d4 to add to my initiative? No, how'd you get that? From emboldening bond. bond. Oh, so you get 22? Mm hmm. I'm an 11 with my total. Nice. 11 with your total? Yeah, I got a seven and then a four on emboldening bond. I can hear again. Alright. Alrighty. Alright, uh Isam, which one are you doing? Uh I'll just do the action then. Uh he is going to take some of his grave dirt out and just like sprinkle the ground. He would have done one hand to do like celestial. I wanted to do like dark and light at the same time and had a cool visual for it, but. Uh, Go ahead, fine. A bit. Go ahead. <laughs> Y'all gonna need it anyway. Um, so basically with one hand, he looks up and he just kind of snarls the name Anyala and in celestial uh, says something like, Anyala, give me strength, but he kind of sounds angry about it. And for a moment, like this light kind of like uh, this celestial flame rises up in a 10 foot circle around him uh, and his eyes start going and it just kind of like starts this like, like, like golden maelstrom of fire. And then at the same time, he, with his other hand, he drops some grave dirt and out of the ground starts crawling these like skeletal smoke creatures with giant claws and like no legs that then start spinning around. And you've got like this like spinning that's in 15 feet uh that would be spirit guardians and uh so you've got like this like mix of like darkness and light competing with like the flames kind of bursting through in a moment with like these like uh like shadow skeletal creatures like also like like sw like swimming in and out of the flames Let me get some better combat music because I didn't think we we're doing this tonight. You should Sorry, know guys. that we just all cause trouble all the time. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't take this apart. I was going to take it apart. I also like how how Jr. was Jr. was saying that our characters are, are impetuous and impulsive. Yep. And he's the one that's starting in a, a new fight immediately after yep. a fight. Like, not trying to say, hey, something just disappeared and ran off over there. Let's make them chase it. No. Come over here so I can hit you. He called Bane mentally unstable. Was he wrong? Yes. <laughs> well, pretty dangerous. That's accurate, though. Ooh. What is so the save? Everyone within 10 feet will take three points of Celeste, of uh, Radiant damage. And then Spirit Guardians doesn't do any damage until the start of their turn. No, so the they, you and, do damage when you first cast it. No, and, I don't think so. Yeah, I they do. I think it's the start of their turn. Really? Yeah, it's when they do and the start of their turn. Well, you are a much nicer DM than I am. Because it specifically <laughs> says... I, I because it is your turn it on says, the first on the first time of the turn. 
It, the way it says is on the first time of a turn. Yeah, it says when they enter the space and also they're the in the space. So when you cast yeah. it, so that's considered that's because that's considered them entering the space when you initially cast yeah. it. Um, I mean, then then the I'm rest then the rest of time it, but then the rest of the time it's on their yeah. turns. Does yeah, that make yeah. sense? I won't let you do yeah, it every yeah. turn. This is just the initial casting, and then every time on their turns. So it's, what is it? I'll take it. Yeah. Wisdom saves? Uh, yeah, wisdom 16. And no matter what their save, it's difficult terrain for 15 feet around Isam. So their movement is halved. Uh, you said 15? That space. 16. 16 is a save? Yep. Well, one of them's definitely level... save with a natural 20. He's going to take half yep. damage, though. All right, only one of them saved. I'll say it's the gold one that saved for simplicity purposes. All right. So da, da, da. that is uh, 15 points of necrotic damage and three points to everyone of the radiant damage. From I already the, got the three points, so I ain't worried about that there. one. And that one of them true. I can make take an extra three as like an Asimar. What's half of 15, seven? Uh, yeah. yeah, unless you're rounding up, then it's eight. I hate you. So 15, got it. But for most of them, it'll be 18 because of the three from the. All right. Hello, Garrus. Can I get a shout out for Garrus? Fane, you're to top it around. Okay. I will. They haven't done anything yet, right? Like, we just saw him nope. start attacking. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm, I will uh, be confused. Um, and I'm going to move over to just in front of the big wheel, please. Okay. Uh, should these some have growled, don't let them escape? Or is it too late for that? Uh, don't let them escape. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you use your bonus action if you want to do that now. I mean, I already use it. To, I can just wait till my turn. No, I'm talking about your uh, reaction, I meant. Did I say bonus, I meant reaction. Nah, I'll save it. It's All okay. Right. Uh, you want to go where, Faye? Uh, in front of the big wheel. Uh, anywhere over there, yeah. 30. That's 30 feet right there. Perfect. Excellent. Um, and I will... I'm, for my bonus action, I'm going to uh, grab three ball bearings and cast um, Magic Stone. Uh, and then I'll hold Eldritch Blast. I'm not going to throw any of the stones yet because I don't know why we're suddenly being aggressive but I'm going to be ready because I want in. All right. But the people that I've known longer probably don't approve of us just randomly fighting people, so. This is um, I'm, I'm holding it specifically. It. If the guards get aggressive, I'm going to shoot one of them with my Eldritch Blast. Yeah, that's the one I want. I want the guitars B, not this one. This one's kind of lame. I don't like this music. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, uh, you're holding your action to do what? Um, if one of if the guards get if any of the guards get aggressive, I'm going to. Well, uh, Faye, blast them. he just cast spiritual guardians. that are actively hitting the guards. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is all like within a couple seconds, though. Okay. It's not actually been five minutes. So I've got three magically charged rocks in my hand um, that I'm not doing anything with yet. And then. So for this, they're up. So Assam, I'm not going to have them roll wisdoms because they just did it for your thing. So without being too much of a thing. So if they're going to end their turn, let's see. Uh, as you do this. Huh? Is it? 
the damage hits at the start of their turn, right? I know, but I was saying with all that extra stuff he did, because they were pretty much, besides Fane, they were first on the card anyway. Ah, fine, whatever. Uh, fail. They all fucking failed. That's cool. So you can roll your stupid spiritual guardian damage. That's 20. 20 points? Yeah. Damn. Alright. Now they're going to surround you, Song. This one's going to run out, actually. You bat yourself against a rock that can't really get around you, so they're just gonna back out of the thing. Because the so one it's, that it's double his movement because it's. Uh, I know that's all their movement to get out. Sweet. And uh, but the one that went around the other guard to get to him. So, uh, they're gonna pull out these swords and two. Uh, they're gonna pull out these two. I'm sorry. Each you're gonna pull out a great sword and make two attacks with it against you. Okay. All right. The first attack, I'll just see how many would hit. Can uh, I blast the one closest to me? A twenty. That hits. Uh, a seventeen. Seventeen misses, I think. Wait, no, no, no. If it meets my armor class, it hits. So that hits too. Okay. Uh, and then the other one was a natural seventeen. So they all the first round of blows hit. Uh, that is six points of damage on the first attack. You're gonna have to make a bunch of con saves. I know. I have Warcaster though, so at least I get advantage on them. Yeah. Uh, next attack is also. S s no, wait. That's nine points of damage on the second attack. Third attack is. Eight points of slashing damage. And let's see if I'm still up to make a con save. I do that. Hmm. Their second attacks. Natural two is going to probably miss, and a natural three. Well, one definitely hits. That is seven. Ten more slashing damage. Do I get my Eldritch Blasts in? Uh, and who are you targeting? Uh, I'll just say the one closest to me. The one that stepped out of the ring? Uh, sorry, the one that is aggressive towards uh, Isam, but closest to me. Okay. Um, so the first blast is a... Sorry. 14 to, to hit. Okay. 14 um, to hit? Yeah. 14 misses. Okay, and the second blast is a 15 to hit. Oh, wait, hold on. A 17 to hit. 17 misses. Okay. These guys have plate armor on. I don't think I described it to you guys, but these guys have plate armor on. That's fine. I got uh, magic rocks in my hand. Kill them and give me that armor. <laughs> <laughs> is that oh, in character? It's heavy. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, the other one is going to look at uh, the one in gold plate as shouting out to you guys. Stand down or die here. And it's going to use leadership to the one in gold. Gets a D4 to saving throws and attacks for uh, for one minute. 
Uh, Jean. Yay. Uh, hmm. Did you save from those? Hassam, did you save from all those? Yeah, just barely. There was four of them you yeah. had to save. Did you do four saves? I did. Yeah, it's with advantage because of Warcaster. If it hadn't been for Warcaster, I definitely would not have. Mm -hmm. yeah. Warcaster really comes in. Oh, yeah, you're concentrating on that. <clears throat> Let me put that marker down. Darn it. Casting fear doesn't sound like a good idea right here. Best fear. Like uh, let's go Did with I the level three distance. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, uh, I was wondering if I got an opportunity attack on the one that left or if he was. She was not in range. She was 10 feet away okay. from you. Unless you have a 10 feet reach for some reason. All right. Uh, John, what are you doing? Uh, no, that counts as, as you guys start uh, to make more enemies. Yeah. <laughs> enemies. Let's go. I'm going to cast uh, Distant Whispers at level three on um, guard number four. Uh, they make a wisdom saving throw, DC 15. Natural 20 for a total of 22. Ah, dang it. Okay. Uh, I got 19 on the damage. So that's, uh, I still take half. Round it up, it's 10. Oh, for Distant Whispers? Yeah, for Distant Whispers, it's, I guess, 10, yeah, 10 second damage. Number four, guard number four? Guard number four, the one that's outside. Yeah. Yep, 10 seconds. Uh, as, as you do this, Sean Pierre, as you cast these distant whispers, you know, as she shreds it off, you start seeing blood trickle out of the air as she is mm -hmm. now bloody. Cool. Uh, I don't have anything for my bonus action. So that will be. You want to move anywhere? You want to stay there? Mm. I'll, I'll, I'm going to climb up into the, into the driver's seat of that of the wagon. Okay. Yeah. Just gonna just gonna stand up there. And yeah, that's it. Alright. Uh Sam. Uh Isam is going to use his tattoos on one of the guards that the one that looked like it was the most damaged but doesn't have the like golden saving throw thing. And that's a DC 14 strength saving throw. I mean, they're all about the same. So which one you want to? Well, there was one that made it a save and is. That was the gold one. one. The other ones are pretty much the same, except the one outside gotcha. the circle that just took the most damage. The other ones have gotcha. taken exact, exact same amount of damage. All right, I'll do the one to the right of Isam. Like closer to the camera? Yeah, if that one is, okay. is the one that. That it doesn't have the gold stuff on it. Yeah, that would be number three. And the one the further south is that. Let me zoom out a little bit. Straight. There you go. All right, uh, what's the saving throw? Uh, DC 14 strength saving throw. If they save, nothing happens. Uh, that is an 18. Okay, yeah, his tattoos slither out and do nothing. Uh, and then as a bonus action, he is going to cast... Uh, He's going to cast uh, Cure Wounds on himself. Is the tattoo a bonus uh, session? Uh, the tattoo is an act. Oh, wait, shit, you're right. I meant healing word is what I meant to say. Oh, okay. And he's going to take like a small insect out of one, of, like a butterfly and crush it and absorb its life first. Okay. <laughs> What's what's Someone amazing, Arnis, Kalis. Oh, Kalis definitely want to see it, but Arnis didn't see it because she's in the cart. Nine plus five. How much is that? Nine plus five is fourteen. It's 
so that probably was a waste because I don't think he's going to survive this round. All right, how much health did and, you get? Uh, I got uh, 14 health. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. For a healing word? Yeah, it was at level three. Because mm. I don't have any other. I have like one level one slot left, and a level one isn't going to do enough to keep him up, but I don't think this would either. I probably should have done spiritual weapon, to be honest, but I did not. <laughs> How are you tonight, so Beards and Battle Latsis? Can I get a shout out for Beards and Battle Latsis, please? Alrighty. That is a really cool name. Are you yes, staying there or are you going to run? Uh, I am staying here. I'm not going to take the opportunity okay. attacks and I want to keep them inside Spirit Guardians. All right. Uh, RNS, uh, what's your passive perception? 15? Yeah. Uh, 15, yeah. yeah. Uh, you definitely hear one of the guards shout that. And if you look out the window to your right, you see the shit show that's happening. Um, yeah. uh, and you were inside. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry, I forgot. But you, you and Kalis were inside. See if you can untie him. He is shackled with shackles. And uh, Jean-Pierre, I'll say you found a set of keys. I forgot to tell you, my bad. But I don't think they told you about anybody being in the carriage, though. They didn't. No. Uh, well, shit. I guess I'll hold action. Because I don't know what to do. Um... If I look out the window and I see them attacking any of my friends besides Isam, I'm probably going to attack back. Apparently they're only attacking Isam. I know they're only attacking Isam right now. Probably gathered that he did something. Yeah, he did something, but I'm not sure what or what's going on. So, so you're going to exit the cart? I'll say exiting cart would be half your movement. Uh, yeah, I'll exit the cart. You come out right behind the guard in front of you. Okay. Um. And you fell on your face. Dexter is even throw. Don't say that. Yeah, Dexter is saved though. Just kidding. <laughs> you can drop you. Rude. As you come out of the cart, you see a guard right in front of the door. Um. Mm. Fuck it, I'm going to do Burning Hands. At third level. Dex 16. Burning Hands, how far is that range? Uh, five feet. Oh, okay. So it's it's a 15 foot cone. Yeah. It's not going to hit anything oh. but it... the guard, so we're good. Yeah, the guard, yeah, sorry. Is uh, so that that save? Yes. Ah, natural 19. Well, I take they have disadvantage? 23, so... Why would I have a disadvantage? Plate armor? Why would I have disadvantage because of plate armor? Disadvantage That's for what? On... I think no, it's, it's just on stealth. Oh, okay. Stealth, yeah. Yeah. But if they're not strong enough, then they have a lowered movement speed. Uh, they'll take eleven uh, fire damage. Nice. Well, they would have taken full if they had twenty-three. What's wrong with you? The oh, fuck? I want freedom. Is that, uh, is that your turn? You want to keep uh, moving? Uh, that was ha you saw half your moment left. But if you do move, you take opportunity uh, attack. I take an opportunity attack, so I'm not going to move. Um, I'll... That's all I do. All right. Uh, Providence. Uh, Fane, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, hit, hit them, because okay. they're hitting new guy. Uh, can I run in without provoking opportunity attack on that on that person? 
Oh, yeah. Is there enough space? Okay, yeah, I'll run into the person that's closest to me and Issam. Um, bonus action, going to uh, engage right Righteous Fury for the second time today. Uh, and that is a... Uh, that is a... Oh, geez, I can't even read this. Um, that is a two. What is a two? Uh... Oh, teleport. After I moved. Of course. After I move, I get well, the Well, teleport is a bonus session anyway. You use your bonus session to rage. Yeah. No, but it also gets me... You teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space. Until As a your bonus range action. ends. No, no. Until your range ends, you can use this effect again on each of your turns as a bonus action. So it activates initially. Mm. I think Boulder's Gate's fucking me up, dang, with the wild magic then. Because once, once I get it, because it takes your bonus action to rage, and it takes a bonus action to teleport. Yeah, but it's so. But as the rules written, it says you teleport up to thirty feet to an unoccupied space you can see. Period. Baldur's Gate changes up a lot of stuff. Yes, it does. Spells don't work the same. So, do you want to teleport now? I guess I'm hopping to. Nah, I'll no. I'll do it later. Um. Does it say you so, specifically? Does it specifically say you teleport now? Yes. Does it say you do or you can? It says you, you teleport up to 30 okay. feet to an unoccupied space you can see. Also, up to can be zero feet. You just This blink. is true. <laughs> uh, you can put me... Can you put me kind of wedged between the, the two guys so I'm opposite uh, Isam? In between one and three? Yes, in between one and three, as close as possible. Yeah, right there, perfect. Uh, and I am going to attack uh, one. Uh, I can use this on my sheet. Um, hey, check out your rewards. You got a lot of them. Do I? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. rewards. Uh, I'm going to have to use some rewards. Chat, I need some rewards. I don't have any. You the know bean up on me. This is so mind. mean. Uh, so I'm going to... Um... Well, I was really hoping to get in some deep lore tonight and storytelling, but they just wanted to be murder hobos and ruin it for me. I <laughs> hey. They're literally our I'm slave su owners. <laughs> I'm surprised that they have, that they're this strong. They could have taken the Black Order. We could have sat back the whole time. <laughs> and then ah. D6. You think I was just going to give you regular guards for yeah. escorting you guys? There's okay, seven so of y'all. That is an unnatural 20. I'm using one of my rewards for my D6s and a use my emboldening bond for a plus three. So it's a plus six and a plus three. Uh, so that brings me up to a 20. Unnatural, very unnatural. Okay. 20 Soups hits. Unnatural. Uh, 20 hits, okay. Uh, damage is oh, not actually, super great. Uh, never mind, because you meets it, breeds it. They have, a, they have a chance to up their AC, but not that high. All right. Uh, okay. That's 10 damage on the person on, on one. Plus two for... Ri Ooh, is it two now? Or is it three? I think it's two. For what? Oh, rage? For rage. Okay. Uh, yeah, plus two melee damage. So 12 damage. Two more. Yeah, as you cut into this one, you find the, the separation of the plates. And... Yeah, I want this one. Uh, well, actually, no. You... As you come in, you clean the helmet that they have on off, and that is a she. And you realize, and you cut the back of the neck down the side of the shoulder, as she she's ah! That is a woman that you just struck. Huh. Fine. Women can fight too. Equal opportunity. Mm-hmm. Equal rights, equal fights. That's what I said. <laughs> is that it for your turn? <laughs> Uh, bonus action, movement. Your, your bonus action was rage. Yeah, I know. I'm saying bonus action, movement, and attack. That's oh, it. Oh, okay. Alrighty, Kalis, you're up. And Glitch, yeah, you're on deck, so. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to... This guy's in... Sh you said, like, metal Chain. shackles? Shackles, yeah. And, uh... So I'm just going to shout out, did anybody find a key? And then uh, I will be like, right back. I have to figure out what's going on. And I'm uh, going to stumble away from this man and throw open the door and just yell, what is happening? 
So uh, um, and then that fine. is my turn. I look uh, down and I, I see the key and it's like, I found a key. <laughs> Give him over here. <laughs> Technically, he was in a car. You're on the outside. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Oh, he All said right. He yelled there, there's got to be some kind of window right there at the front. <laughs> All right. Uh, ready. Glitch. Well, Glitch will turn and see that. That's a cool boy. <laughs> He's We're what? We're leaving. <laughs> That's a, this is the opposite place. of leaving right now. <laughs> this is how we leave. <laughs> He's excited for it. In style. So he's going to move us 30 feet towards the battle. With his... 30 about right there. Yeah. And I can only see the one guy, I'm guessing, from my angle, it looks like. You can see the one and the one that's in front of Arunus. Okay. Well, I can see Arminus. Arminus is in front, just she's up within... by the cart. She's she's right behind the guard. Oh yeah, sorry, Arm. Not I was thinking of somebody else. Sorry. Mm -hmm. We'll just uh... how damn it! I'll just cast this on him. Which one? We'll cast heat metal on him. The one closest to the cart. Yeah. Is that a touch spell? No. 60 foot range. No that is saves. crazy. What's this is the best spell. Yes. I love heat metal. This is need to happen at least once in this campaign. I was asking Arwen if she had it. I forgot glitch might. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Druids, you get it. What, what is the save? No save. There isn't one. It's, I you, take the armor not... and I turn it into really hot. There's no save from it at all. Okay. It's metal. You yeah, take his armor off. Your idea. The idea is, is that you have you put. But on you're the concentrating weapon. on that, though, right? It's a concentration. Yeah, it's a concentration up to a minute. Yeah. The idea is you put in their weapon, and they drop their weapon, but they <laughs> unless they have quick release armor, they can't drop. It. They can't no. just take out yeah. their armor. And how much damage was that? Fifteen. Okay. And it's continuous every turn. It's so good. Fire unless, damage. Unless they can take their armor off somehow. It takes like five yeah. minutes. I have to use my bonus action to make it keep going, but that's obviously it's kind of like happen. it's kind of like which world, I guess, in a sense like that, I guess. Kind of. All right, uh, is that your turn? Yeah. That is. I will then give my use my bonus action defensive field to give me five temporary hit points, and that's it. All right. Top of the round, fame. Okay. I will. Um. I'm gonna use my bonus action to throw one of my magic rocks at the one at number one. So that is going to miss. That's 12 to miss. One and at one, was it? No. Okay. No, I don't have a plus 11 on any of my rolls. Thank you though. Okay. Remember I rolled the worst stats in the group. Um, and then I will Eldritch Blast the same one. I will use advantage, one of my advantages, on the first blast. Somebody marking those off for me? I'll, I'll mark it off in a second if no one else gets to it. I'll get uh, it. Thank you. And so that is a 21 to hit that one. 21 hits. Okay. Or. Uh, and this is at number one, right? Uh, Yeah, number one. Got it. Oh, well, that's six damage. Six force the... damage. Nice. Yep. Because I rolled a two on the d10. Nice. And then for the second blast, same same one. You, didn't you do the first one? I, I, we're level five now. I get two blasts. Well, yeah, no, you did the first one. That was a no, miss. No, I threw my rock. I threw one of my... One of my um... Magic rocks. Magic it's a bonus action. As a oh, bonus action. Um, but that's, that's only a, uh, oh, hold on. Five, that's still. That is a 19 to hit. 19 hits. Yeah. Oh, actually. No, it's not a melee attack, so never mind. That's better. That's 12 points of damage. Very nice. 
And the armor is slightly dented, but Kalis will never know. It's severely dented as these are coming in. And the 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 helmet portion of this armor just got cracked into with uh, Providence's swing. All right. Helmets are helmets are chunky. Then I will move closer to the circle of ancestors, but I will not go into it. Yeah. As you get close to it, you hear. <laughs> doesn't matter. I wasn't gonna. I was not going into the ancestor circle, anyways. But. <laughs> All right. Like, uh, it's their turn. Oh. They gotta make uh, wisdom saves for your uh, spiritual guardians. Yes. Natural night, two natural me, right? 19s and a natural 18. Okay, all of those save. Yeah. Thank so God. they are going to take, and I forgot to, I forgot to do the three radiant damage last time as well. No, I took it. Okay, cool. Because well, you, really said, you said it at some point and I took it, so. Yeah. So it would have been eight and that's reduced to four. So four damage for those guys. Yes. All right. What? Uh, not, where do they? Do they go hmm. before me or after yeah, me? Yeah, they go before you. Okay, and then your surprise round like, kind of threw it off. So yeah. he's gonna look at Providence because he's gonna go down this round probably, uh, and he's gonna say, "Don't let them have any more slaves." Like while they stab him to death this round. <laughs> <laughs> well, one the one that hit Providence is gonna turn around and hit Providence back. I'm going to just do both attacks, see if they hit. Uh, Probably yes and yes. 21 and a 20. Yes and yes. So I'll just roll all the damage at once. Save some time. Is this where Providence goes down? You take 21 points of slashing damage from this great sword as it comes into you, but you're raging, so it's half damage. Yeah, so 11? Yeah. Uh, the other two are going to make their two attacks into Assam. So the first round attacks is a natural one, so Assam, you get an opportunity attack. Uh, since I have um, since I have Warcaster... I can usually use my reaction to cast a spell. Not for this. That? I'm not going to do it because this, this is the homebrew rule. I'm just going to okay. give you opportunity attack because they're not leaving your range to activate that. This is just like a homebrew because they rolled a nat one. He has never used his weapon, so I have to look that up real quick. Hold on. Uh, uh, okay. He rolled a, uh, a one. <laughs> <laughs> to attack? So they're just going to cancel out. All right. Um, the sec, uh, his, uh, the other one the attack was, where at? uh, six points of slashing damage. All right. Um, can Their I second... use my DM's inspiration to get extra advantage or it doesn't really stack with it? No, it doesn't. After it. Okay. Well, well there, is... uh, there's a natural two, but one's a natural 20. Oh, I can't fix it. I ran out of charges. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, in that case, I forgot to have the little document open. Would you like to roll a d20 to see what you get for your... I got a five. I thought I pinned this thing. I guess I didn't. Did you not? I think you did. No, I mean, like, in my tabs. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Oh. Uh, this is a sheet. You're going to say, how are we supposed to find it, then? I've got it. Uh, a five is knocked down, rendered prone. What is it? Pathfinder? <laughs> uh, I still... No, I, you're, you're not down and rendered here, unconscious. I have Pathfinder critical deck. You're not down <laughs> and rendered unconscious. It says prone. Become uh, oh, oh, never mind. I was reading sits. My bad. <laughs> Guys. Yeah. I just <laughs> narrowly <laughs> missed unconscious. <laughs> it's not called flat footed anymore. Now it's called off guard. Oh, all oh, right. Uh, you yeah. take 11 points oh, of slashing damage. All right. 
and barely yeah. hold on to concentration. Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta make concentration points. saves. Yeah, I passed the first one. The second one, I also passed. Arnish, you get opportunity attack. Because this was running straight towards uh, Glitch, because, you know, stupid heat metal. <laughs> you make two attacks on Glitch. Um, Arnish, what'd you get? Geez. You're muted. Natural 20. <laughs> I got a natural 20. Sorry. What are you 25. hitting him with? Uh, my scimitar. All right. Uh, do you want to do a uh, wound? Uh, or do you want to just, or just do the double I'll damage? Take the crit damage. I'll take the damage. I'll take the crit damage. Roll crit damage then. Let's see if they're even up, actually. Uh, 11. Where's my count? Oh, wrong one. Uh, 11. Yep. Arnis, how would you like to kill this? Because he had eight health. Or she, who is it? She had eight health when you came down As your she's running by, I'm going to grab my sword and kind of just slice across her back. Oh, I'm sorry. She has six mm -hmm. health. Okay. Don't do it across her back. She has armor there. As she slices she's through... As she slices through the armor... Through the back, because the heat metal made it melting. She slices through the melted heat armor into the back, slices, and she falls straight down in the dirt face first. Hmm. Yay. <laughs> Sean, you're up. It's time you're on deck. You saved me from a beating. <laughs> yes, All <I> right. <laughs> uh, I'll start out by uh, picking up these keys uh, in the front. Well, I mean, they're in your, then... they were in your hand when you found them on the bodies. When oh, you okay. And I'm Keep I'm drunk. standing in the oh, doorway. On the... I oh, see. Yeah, I, I see. Oh no, you you haven't exited the card, huh? No, I'm standing in the doorway. Yeah. Okay. I can't open the door in this okay. carriage, so just use your imagination. Imagination. Theater of the mind in my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the door doesn't actually open. We run a hybrid game here. Uh, how much more hybrid would you give of this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, not, uh, yeah, I guess I got him with the bodies. Uh, then I'll, I'll come back down. Off the off the front of the your trailer. high horse. My yes, yes. I'll say if you have your movement, or you can jump down and make a dexterity saving throw. But ah, uh, I'm good at those. I'll do that. I'll okay. jump down and we'll, we'll do a cool thing. Would it be a dex saving throw or an acrobatics check? Uh, no, I mean, I got, it's plus seven either way, and it's a twenty. Okay. So yeah, you're fine. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, so jump down. I'm going to uh, run closer to... I mean, I'm going to run next to Arwenis. Um, I'll, I'll toss the keys up to Kalis. How about you hand them to me? I'll... Okay. You're, you're right there I will have the my hand out. Like <laughs> if, if I have enough movement, I will I will walk up to Kalis and hand them to him. I mean, you're right there in front of the door. If y'all stick your hands out, you can. Yeah, I'm right. like 6'3". All right, I'll just like, I'll hand you up the, the keys. Thank you. You have you have the keys. Uh, and then turn around. I'll cast another uh, Dissonant Whispers. Uh, we'll stay on guard. One. That's within 30 feet, right? Oh, it's 60. Uh, 20, 20, 25. And then that's probably about 30. Okay. Uh, we'll do it on, yeah, we'll do it on guard number one. Uh, Distant Whispers level three. Uh, DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Is this a frightened spell? Uh, it does not cause the frightened effect. It does give a disadvantage, doesn't it? 
Makes them run. It makes them run. But Ooh. it doesn't. But it's not a charm or frightened effect. Okay. It is not. Yeah, it does not impose the charmed or frightened effect. So yeah, being an elf doesn't save you from that one. I guess is what he's saying. Well, mm -hmm. you're not elves. They just have the what they call a brave. They have advantage yeah. against dauntless or whatever. Yeah, being frightened. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is the save? Wisdom. Uh, wisdom. wisdom. Uh, Eleven. That's DC was fifteen. That's twenty-five psychic damage. Twenty-five psychic uh, damage on one. On one, correct. Well, it doesn't even wow. matter because you know it has eight health. So <laughs> that's that's really cool of them and how they did that for me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> how does that <laughs> look they... for your gist and whiffers? They go inside and your head explodes. Is that what it is? Kind, kinda, kinda. Yes. Uh, so like I, 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 I played, I played this kind of dis discordant melody, and that's what they hear. And as they like try and like run away, uh, due to the effects of the spell, they just kind of fall, uh, because their 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 brain couldn't handle it. Just like a trickle of blood coming out of their like eye sockets and shit. Nice. Mm -hmm. Cry a little bit of blood, you know the usual. Anyway, that's my turn. Got it. <laughs> the psalm. <laughs> Isam is going to our initiate on deck. Uh, that cantrip that's the bell one. What the fuck? Told the called? dead. Uh, to told, told, told the dead. That's a wisdom uh, saving throw DC 16. For who? Which one? Uh, the one that looks like they're hurting the most of the two. Wisdom. The saving that throw... is a 10. Okay, so that's 2d12. This could be really good or really bad. It'll Which be... one are you doing it on? Oh, shit. Uh, damn. Uh, that is 18 points of damage on the one that is to my right. To your right? So number uh, two? So the one that's farthest away from Providence. Yeah, two. Yeah. Okay. Number two. Oh, I see so... the numbers now. I wondered why you were counting wrong all this time. I was like, that's not the third one. <laughs> <laughs> So you said 12 points of damage? No, 18. God damn. It's 2d12 if they're already injured. So Y'all gonna take a while to level up as again. Low as uh, so that one, as the bells ring, ding, uh, blood starts trickling the out of the ears, the nose, the, and the, the eyes, as now this one is bloody. The way he does it, though, is instead of like a bell, he pulls out like another insect, and he snaps it in his fingers. And they'll like, sound of the snap makes their bones crack. That's his version. Oh. All right. Uh, is that your turn? And then uh, he's going to take actually three more radiant damage from the Asimar thing. And then both of them are going to take What's the range of that? Damage. Uh, I get to add three to a spell. No, what's the range of your attack? Is it just five feet? Uh, no, it's uh, so there's one that you get to add to a spell or attack. So you get no, no, I'm asking what's your range of your reading. Oh, uh, that'll hit Providence as well. Yeah. So yeah. the other the other one will be so he'll take the one number two will take six more damage. Number three will take three more damage and uh, Providence will take what, like one or two. I don't know whether uh, two because it rounds up, I think. Okay. Yeah, it rounds up. Yeah. So as I'm taking then, this damage, well, but you you, like... you have resistance to radiant damage, so it's halved. Yeah. Yeah, that's why she's yeah, taking three. two instead of three. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, never mind. I'm tripping. So she just looks at you like, "What the hell, man?" <laughs> and then she has yeah, like this moment, just like, like his eyes are this... glowing, like almost in the identical way that your eyes glow when you do your. Yeah, and then she has this moment of clarity. And she's like, "Oh, oh." <laughs> that's how everyone man. else feels. <laughs> Not everyone else. Arnis. Uh, okay, I'm going to move a little bit closer to the edge of that big circle because I don't want to get near that any more than you're <laughs> flying in the air. Yeah, no, I'm good. I don't want to go closer. <laughs> I'm going to do. What can I do from this far away? Uh, I guess I'll use my lab second level scorching ray. Oh, ho. On uh, number three. Three is a clearer shot. 18? 
18 is their AC. Okay. And I'm then they will take... Do you have? I've got three. You get three of them, yeah. So, for one ray, it is four damage. I saw five pop up. Is it four? Five. It's a... It oh, says five. 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 five, my bad. Five. Okay. I know it wasn't crazy. I saw a five pop up for damage. All right. Your second okay. ray. Oh, do I roll again or do I just hit? They're all separate attacks. Okay, so seven. 25 hits. 25? Yeah. Roll the third uh, one, see if that hits. Okay, there's six. Okay. Six and, yeah, 23. 23 hits. So six and then nine. Very nice. All on three. Very nice. Is that your turn? That's my turn. Providence. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Um, she's gonna first of all, she's gonna see this 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 guy just drop down beside or this lady drop down beside her, and she's gonna be like, Yeah, that's right. <laughs> just assuming she did it. Um, then she's gonna take her sword and uh she is going to first actually she's gonna bonus action, um, and she's gonna set off the radiant consumption. Um, so every within everybody uh, around here will take uh, three radiant damage. So JR, you'll That's take one and a half million. or two. <laughs> one and a half. Yeah. And I'll do a Constitution or er, Constitution saving throw for this. Part. Watch it roll, Lore. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> oh my! I will laugh my yeah, ass off. You made him it. drop it. <laughs> the first one, the first one was an eight, and then the second one was a ten. It's so close. So three, <laughs> three damage. Yep. Uh, and then she's going to attack the person beside her, and she's going to do it with advantage. I'm going to use, um, do I want to go reckless? They have two attacks. It seems kind of reckless, but I guess that's the name of it. Mm -hmm. I'll go reckless. Uh, and roll with advantage. Mm -hmm. They just get advantage on you. Yeah, I know. I know I know what reckless means. Like, I get it. Um, wow, advantage. I was just Satan for everybody, not just specifically you. In case somebody okay. didn't know what reckless meant. Thank you, Judy. I appreciate it. 25. We have an audience. <laughs> 25 hits. Uh, okay. Agent damage is going to be uh, slightly better than last time. 11 plus 2 plus an additional 2, so 15. Well, it has 12 health, so how do you want to kill it? Uh, the great sword is... Is it a her? Uh, sure, that's good. Oh, this one uh, is a guy. Okay, I would like the greatsword to just, like, this is not elegant. It just goes right down into the guy's neck, and it gets stuck there for a second, either in his bones or the armor, and she has to, like, wedge it out. Uh, and then I have Great Weapons Master, so I get another attack on top of this. So she's going to move forward and then do another attack with advantage. Oh, my Garris asks in chat, hey, what does Reckless mean? Reckless means you attack with advantage. They get attacks on you for advantage. Uh, did what's his nuts ask that? Thanks. Thanks, what's his nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the old man, what's his nuts. Fair. Uh, second attack. <laughs> Emotional damage. I'm not That's a 23. Off, <laughs> uh, it's a 23, and I can add emboldening bond if that doesn't hit. 20. Ooh, that's a 4. Sure oh, no, it's a 1. Hits. <laughs> it's a 24. I'm with sure it's 20. Yeah, that, that probably hits. Uh, so I'll just roll damage. Yeah, 24 hits, yeah. Uh, not as good. Oh, it's exactly the same. So 15. Two of it is radiant. 15? You got it. Yeah. Still up, but he's barely standing. Yeah. As you slice into the arm. Is that your turn? Yes, that is my turn. Well, I felt good. My hey, first use of your weapon, Master. Uh, well, now that I got the keys, I'm going back to that man. And okay. I'm going to... Fumble around. Fumble around and unshackle him. All right, give like, me a... Because blind... I can, I can technically see it. Because blind fighting lets you see people or bot everything? Anything. Okay, yeah, you can see it then. All right, uh, you can unshackle him. <sighs> like, I don't know what's going on out there, but nobody should be in shackles. Thank you. What's your name? And it would cut. <laughs> 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 uh, 
All right, glitch her up. Glitch will do the his as far as he can towards the last. I'm assuming thing. you're dropping your heat metal, unless you want to keep heating the metal that's on the ground, melted it even more. I decided that. <laughs> I might do Barbecue. that. See if I can get close <laughs> enough. Just cook them from <laughs> cook them inside their armor. The, 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 the dead corpse. <laughs> Where do you want to go? So you yep. see this guy? Yeah, barbecue. Yep. Go down. Yeah, perfect. If I can. So I'm still. All... Looks like I'm still away. I can't punch him. Oh, you want to get close? You want to get a punch? Oh, yeah, you sure can. I don't want to attack him. I didn't know how you wanted to attack him. You should say go down. Oh, sorry. That's true. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm mad. Just, how you uh... Because he's kept me as a... He's... These are all slavers. He's mad at the world. <laughs> Technically, these are Just not cast... the slavers, but okay. Well, this thing, they all are. <laughs> For your know. characters, you might He's think they're attack. slavers, but not that they're not the slavers. What's that? What's that hit? All right. I'm gonna. He's gonna punch him in the back. Twice. Seventeen to hit. Seventeen misses. And the second attack. Oh, Jesus. 15. <laughs> 15. They both yeah. miss. Oh. Action, action. Well, then. That they get their gauntlets nice. up and <laughs> yeah. block each shark. Ching, ching. And from frustration, he'll continue barbecuing the <laughs> lady. <laughs> <laughs> Just All right, him. Fane, you're up. Um, how far am I from number two? Please. About 30 feet. Okay. Um, I'm going to run up and use magic fighting. You and go into the scary yeah, I'm border. Mad. One of them hit her. Huh? I said, I'm mad. One of them hit Prue. As you go through the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, as ears. I'm running up, but before I'm in melee, I'm going to use my bonus action to. Actually, no, I won't. I won't throw the rock. I'm just going to run up and um, bite. Yeah, but I'm going to use my other advantage to try to hit. So uh, that is a twenty-three to hit. Yes, that hits. Okay, and magic fighting is. One, two, D10. For nine points of, uh, but that's that acid of poison. They always make it look It don't matter. It has three hit points. How you want to? It matters uh, to me. How do you want to do this? I run up and jump and just bite it in the neck because I'm not biting armor. I'm smart enough to know that. Um, and rip out its throat. Gruesome. Yep, I'm in very orc. gruesome. Cool. So there's currently two uh, rating consumptions going off, and I don't know if I can control mine. Um, I, I was gonna say as soon as po I like, I might take damage from them, but as soon as possible, I'm booking it out of the ancestors. <laughs> yeah. We're out of combat. I'll heal. Well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we, there's still oh, two. She's right. No, because uh, there is two rating conceptions, so we'll scroll through. John, you staying where you're at? You're muted. You're muted. Damn it. I knew I was going to remind my... I told myself <laughs> I was muted. I told myself I was muted. Okay, you know what? Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just like... There, there's a body next to me, right? One of them should be dead somewhere. Yes. I don't know. No, no, yeah, no. Um, no. The body ran away and got... Sl actually sliced and the heat metal is still going off on it too right oh that one's a little bit lower right um i'll go like stand next to it wait for that heat metal to wear off but yeah they're pretty much the same spot all right it's still actively going it's melting the body is like mush the metal the plate metal you can pretty much if you look at it with your passive perception it's 
pretty worthless at this point. Mm. So it's only 71 degrees Celsius where like the collagen in your skin starts to melt. That's only like I think 160 ish anyway. Fahrenheit. Uh, Arnis, what are you doing? It's not even there. All right. Uh, Providence, give me wisdom saving throw if you're trying to end it. Uh, sure. Uh, so if I fail, does it stay up or do I, if, like, how does that work? Remember, you, remember you have to try to succeed to make it stop, get control of yourself. Okay. That's what you wanted initially. So. No, I'm just, I'm just, so I'm just confused about what the DC is. That's all. Uh, it, oh. it's a fail. It's a seven. Yeah. yeah that's a, definitely a fail. All right. She's uh, gonna look. She's gonna look at, at Issa and she's like, "What the hell, man? Stop it! Stop it! That hurts." So, uh, Thane, Isam, what's the range of yours? Just fit ten, or fifteen? Uh, ten feet. Ten. ten. Yeah, yeah. So Isam and Arnis, uh, not Arnis, uh, Fane, you take what three? Three. Three. I three do now, uh, now that we got resurrected. Yeah. Uh, and Isam takes two. All right, uh, Kalis. Yep. You staying in? Are you doing anything specifically for this right now? You're just staying in the cart. Yeah. Okay. Glitch. Uh, I was gonna heal his arm for nine hit points. <laughs> Not a All good right. roll on healing. Thank you. That is way more than I. I was down to five, so that's really helpful. <laughs> oh, I skipped this psalm, didn't I? Did you drop yours, this psalm? Uh, yeah, I draw on my turn. What I would have done is, if I can give her the help action to calm down, then I would do that. If not, I would cast bless with my very last first level spell slot to on her. You want to cast bless instead? All right. Uh, if I can't give her the help action, then I will do that. Yes. Uh. I would say gonna since y'all just met, I would say no for what this All is. Right. Uh, and I'm going to cast Bless on her. Uh, that'll give her an extra D4 on saving throws. And uh, I the D4 would have helped, so. Yeah. Good right. For the next one. Uh, uh, and I'm going to drop the Radiant Consumption. Okay. Uh, and he's just going to kind of study her while she's struggling with it. All right. Fane. Um, if the ancestors are still up, I am going to. Send the ancestors are down. They're down. Okay. Yeah, the ancestors then... are gone. Yeah, he yeah, cast yeah. bless, which is another concentration spell, and that'll immediately drop Excellent. the ancestors. Excellent. Perfect. Yeah. Um, you just cast and bless on her, and that's it. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, and dropping radiant consumption, I think, is my bonus action. Yep. And then he's like gonna try to. He's studying her for a moment. He's gonna try to insight her to try to figure out what's going on. Okay. Whenever he can. It doesn't have to be this turn. All right. These guys are dead. John? I I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just kind of standing here. All right. Sam? You can do this. He, like, makes eye contact. Um, and, like, like, the bless is now in effect. And he's just going to be trying to talk her to talk her through it with the things that Malik had shown him as much as possible. What are you going to say? Because this will this will give me... What Depends on what you say is I'll give her advantage on it. Close your eyes and imagine a flame. Let it burn out, Miss Danish. Alright. Uh, Arnus. Skipped my turn. Did I? Yeah, yeah you did. I asked you, Fane, what you're doing. You asked what I was doing, and then uh, Isam said they dropped the ancestors. Okay. Uh, it's it's. Where did you want to go? Yeah, my bad. Well, I I don't need to run out anymore. I'm just gonna turn to Prue and be like, your explosions are getting stronger, and it's really cool. Um, and I'm still just gonna stand right next to her. I might even move closer. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stay where I'm at because I'm not gonna get hit with that. Okay. For sure. Yeah. And just kind of watch and see if uh, it's on and uh, Fane can turn it down. Because Fane is trying to do that. Uh, it's on. I'm going to have you roll me a contested wisdom check. 
With me? Not with you. Just a straight wisdom check, or is it a saving throw? Just a straight wisdom me? check. Because okay. you're technically... Can I use my... Can I use my advantage, DM's advantage on this? Sure. Right. DM's inspiration. That's a natural 20. Very nice. And uh, Providence, <laughs> as you're sitting there focusing, uh, I'll actually even do this. You saw him, when you say this to her, you see a flicker of black go across her eyes as she's trying to listen to and follow your instructions. You see the flicker of black and then you can roll with advantage Providence. Okay, <clears throat> so I have advantage and, you, and a bless, bless as well, and and um, uh, emboldening bond. Uh, so advantage on the wisdom saving throw. Let's see how high I do. Advantage. Roll. That's uh fourteen plus bless, which is a five plus. That's nineteen plus a one is a nat unnatural twenty. Nice. Uh, you save from it, and you're able to keep it from happening. Oh. But you do see the image of her once again in your mind trying to keep you suppressed. Alright. Thank you. That, that helped. Did, did we take it damage this round? It does happen at the end of my turn. Yeah, so she so. drops it, so... You're fine. So we're no longer in combat. You can do whatever the hell y'all want. You're so much stronger now. It's awesome. As I have blood out of my chin. Oh, Fane, I'm so sorry. Uh, and she's just going to walk up to you. She's going to put your hand on your chest, not in a sexual way. Yeah. And um, she's going to cast healing hands. and Or not cast. Uh, she's going to activate healing hands. Um, and she's going to... Yeah, she's going to give you back. Uh, how much is that? It used to be just a small amount. Um, um, 3D4. 3D also, I didn't actually take damage from that unless the temp HP stopped. No, the temp HP yeah. lasts until it just doesn't refresh anymore yeah. when the thing disappears. Fine, right. I'll take it anyways. That being okay. said, uh, we'll pick up this after our break. I just realized okay. what time okay. it was, so we're going to go ahead and take our break, guys. We'll be back and follow up with this unexpected comment I was not prepared for. All right, thank you, guys. Well, we'll be right back. Yep. Sorry, guys. Welcome back, guys. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on with the sound alerts. I went to the, the dashboard, and I was getting errors on the dashboard, so I think the sound alerts are messing up. But uh, everything else is should be working. I could get them to work on there but i can't re some reason redeem them here doesn't work i don't know i was getting errors so i don't know sorry about that guys uh we'll make sure we refund those so uh uh we'll get those points back to you all right as we come back what do y'all do i'm can i grab the uh the person i just bit to death and just like under the arms and struggle to drag them towards Prue and be like, can you use this? Uh, what, the, the armor? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, that's kind of clanky. I don't know if it, like, I don't know if I'd look good in it. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Kalis, what do you think? Do you think I'd look good in this? Oh, Kalis never is mind. Standing. Sorry. He's that also was... blind. Yeah. <laughs> Kalis um, is in the cart, so... Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to keep my my prize victory and just drag it towards the big wheel of the cart. Give me a strength check. Is Emboldening Bond still up? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, you can. I'll say no now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that is a 13 for a total of 11. <laughs> I'm slowly <laughs> dragging... <laughs> Uh, as you try, you're just completely struggling. Every now and then, like a piece of armor slides off because you're trying to drag it. I stop and pile it on top and keep going. 
It is very slow progress. <laughs> very slow. Hey, you said they had great swords, right? Yes. Can I see if any of them are better quality than mine? Uh, give me an investigation check. Oh, always asking the barbarian for intelligence checks. You ask, I'm gonna give you what it is. <laughs> it's is it an eight. Advantage because she knows great swords. It's an eight. They're still forged cast great swords. They might look cleaner than yours, because or newer or fresher, but they don't do any more damage. Just regular great swords. Um, we'll cut over into the cart with Kalis because. Kalis, he asked, like, what's, what's your name? Kalis, what's your name? I'll cut back to the battle scene for this guy's handout art. So I thought you were, like, only giving him that much of a I did, too, and I was like, I mean, I... Let's cut again. <laughs> yep. I'll roleplay one word at a time. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sir Frederick Strong. My name is Nigga. I, the honorable, I believe these people were taking me because of my boss and who I work for that I had never met. I overheard them mentioning something they were trying to get to him through me. Okay. Um, well, you're free now. And he kind of like looks out the door door and realizes that he can't see so he's listening to see if they're still fighting no oh you listen you, you hear metal dragging across the ground terribly <gasps> yeah but i hear faint grunting with it yeah i would assume you're free to go Okay. You start standing up. I like go outside. Be like, so we're all in agreement that we're not taking this guy back to the twins, right? Why aren't we? No, Fane. Fane, I, I think we should let him go. Um, okay. I, I think I think we don't like either the Webwells or the. Well, yeah. The living streams. But we owe them money. They just owe us our lives. Well, I mean, technically we owe them our lives because they paid for it. They enslaved us. Hmm. That is not it sounds right. Like so we're stealing ourselves rock. from them. And he's, he says, well, at least now you have options. You don't have to tell them what was in the cart or if anything was in the cart. Hmm. Um, okay, hold on. Uh, Sir Frederick, what... As he's starting to walk off, like no, he's wait, 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 wait. What yes. did Isam ask you? Uh, he's just asking oh. my name, and I forgot what you asked him at this point. But it's nothing really important. <laughs> uh, Isam's going to say it might be a good idea to hang around for a moment. He's like barely holding onto the rock here. Even though Glitch healed him, he's still kind of a little bit rough. In the Do you still it. need healing? Uh, Providence <laughs> is like, you're fine. You're fine. And casts a little bit of healing. Um, um, I was like, I still have like a bunch of lay on hands left. As in all of have... it. <laughs> is anyone going to tell us? Anyone discuss? Kalis? Isam? What did you guys talk about? Uh, this man, they kidnapped him. Like they kidnapped us. Uh-huh. He's fighting Reason? the Black Order. Okay. By himself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He well, said a boss that he doesn't know who his boss is. Okay. Uh, I know my a boss's boss. name. I just never met him. I told Why? You your boss. Why have you never met your boss? We never meet our bosses. Does he have a really weird-looking we? face? Is Who's it... We? He's one of the elders of our order. We never meet them. Wait, wait, wait. They're kept hidden. Order? Yes. Are you talking about the Order of Goblet? Yeah, so do you not see the goblet engraved on my 
metal? I don't. <laughs> He's blind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're, try, they're trying to get to my boss. His name is... uh. Hmm. Ashley, I'm not going to tell you your name because I don't know, trust you. Okay. But, but, Craven mentioned them. Do you remember? Did he? Craven? Yes. Yeah. He's here. I think so, too. Well, we, we well, thought like he was... Here, here. Not like here, here. Down, He's in the slave in the, trade. He's a champion the, of theirs. Down in the secret here. evil city. For at yeah. least two years or more. We were going to help him get out, but then we didn't. So you might want to tell your order. Kalis, that. give me a perception check with advantage because you can hear. Very well. Well, uh, 14. I mean, he's not far away. Even with that, you, all you catch is Mr. Trinity will be pleased to hear it. Out of that. <laughs> he mutters that under his breath but with your heightened senses you hear that and uh Lince Barbarian takes the have some way of wear heavy armor then yes you gotta be proficient with heavy armor yeah I was, I was joking oh sorry I'm, I imagine I'm at least halfway to the carriage now. So, I'm not moving your minis. So you're fine. Just use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get kidnapped? Did these people kidnap you? And he motions to the ground where he assumes all the bodies are laying. That's a lot of bodies out here. Yeah, we're yes. really good. Okay. Anyway, uh, what, what is Craven? What do you want with Craven? What do you want with him? She wants something with me. I don't really understand what. Kind of weird. I think what do you Yeah, kind of hot, but. Um... No. <laughs> Can I make a suggestion? Why don't we move to somewhere? May I have a suggestion? Because you look really shitty. Just healed him. Before, uh, <laughs> <and> <laughs> somebody, like somebody, somebody clipped that one. Kalis motions to Esau. Like, come here. He's just gonna stand there for a moment. Well, you like, think he's a dog? Yeah, yes. I'm not walking to him. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He's not coming. Uh, but he's gonna, he's just gonna say, uh, listen, we might be able to help each other, but maybe we should relocate to somewhere safer where we can have a longer discussion. Where do you want to go? He's gonna look to Jean-Pierre and Glitch and the others, see if they have any suggestions. Above table, you're the one that made this attacking the guards so <laughs> so it's, i think it's hilarious that you killed the guards but you look at the other people for guidance <laughs> i mean he's basically <laughs> all he wanted to do was make sure that when we talked about what to do with this guy <laughs> he didn't know Caleb was going to release him uh that when we talked uh, about what to do with this guy that we had all the options on the table um so he wasn't like trying to preempt it like preempt their decision making exactly um, but like, <laughs> he wasn't like presuming that they're going to run, that they're going to help this guy, they're not going to help this guy. But he thought they, there might be an alliance possibility since he's fighting the Black Order and Isam hates the Black Order as well. Um, so he just wants to like feel things out somewhere. Um, Kalis kind of pretty... raises his hand. Kalis, you don't have to raise your hand. Yes, you do. Yeah. Why did we attack? the guards that the twins sent with us? They are um, slavers. No, I, I... I'm not upset. I'm just confused. We attack. We we killed them because they were all attacking Isam. 
Actually, that's true. Yeah. I mean, now we now we have opportunities to do what we want. We can still go back and just say they died uh, to the other people, but... So so the guards just started attacking the man that's been working for the twins longer than we have. <laughs> Yes. I was inside with you, so I have no idea. Esam? This man is fighting the Black Order, and I wanted you at least to have the opportunity to... By the way, why why is the cart halfway inside the cliff and halfway out? Because we... Oh, oh check this out. Our, and then I our in. original objective was to hijack this cart and take it back to our... I like, am hesitant to say employers. Owners? Owners? Yeah, owners, they own yeah. us. They own us, yeah. Owners. Why well, we want half a cut that's like half... What, what the Ch fuck? It, no, 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 I, come here. Come apparently, here. there's an illusion here. I walk through the I walk through the wall. What the fuck did he go? I come back out. That's a wall. It's an illusion. Touch it. You should touch it. Feel it. It's pretty it's, it's pretty cool. I bet you can't even feel it. <laughs> What's so on the other here. side of that? A tunnel. Also oh, another cart. Mm -hmm. And oh, then an uh, underground city where a bunch of bad people live. Some illegal things, maybe. I what think underground they call it Gray city? Chester Bay. The city that's underground. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. You know, like who is the, who is this guy anyway? This he is Sir Elric von Lichtenstein. Ah, man. He is Sir Frederick Strong. <laughs> the honorable. The honorable. How do you the get honorable. a title like that? Can I be the honorable? Lady Providence. The He's honorable. the honorable. I'm the dishonorable. I thought Maybe you were feathers. I'm the honorable with blood all down my chin. <laughs> yeah, you might want to clean yourself up. Anyway, uh, let's move the carts out of here. All right. Can we go just into the middle of the field with both of the carts and then keep them forever? I say we go to the side. Okay. Look, Mister 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 the Honorable, you. You're not our prisoner, but you can't just leave. I'm sorry, we have to figure some stuff out. That's the classification of a prisoner. No. No, no we have been prisoners. Uh, we won't hold you, but you we just said I can't out. leave. Yet. Yes. Yet. She, Thank you, she misspoke. You can leave, but we'd like you not to. We would prefer it if you stayed and helped us answer some questions. You just told me Craven that we've been looking for for years. We thought was dead, as a prisoner. Why are you uh, looking for him? Uh, and can we have this conversation out of the middle of the road? I can do whatever you want. Where, where is Craven? He's In a being... city full of evil people hmm. that we just Insane. escaped from. We can tell you where Craven and is. When I say if like give us full a... of evil people, I mean like. The whole city. More than thousand. Like, like crime isn't crime there because it's not illegal. It's, it's still illegal. It's not illegal. It's just wrong. Yeah, it's moral. It's immoral. It's immoral. Yeah. Okay. okay. But you're allowed to As, do it. You sound yeah. like looks like he's getting a headache and just kind of does this for a moment. <laughs> 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 what well, do you want to have this conversation? Just, just over, over there. there. Just, how far are we from any kind of civilization? That's Do we past, have any... No, I mean, it's days. Glitch. Yes. So I Come can... Come with me into the we... carriage and look around. <laughs> <laughs> See if there are clues or anything, or like, was it just this singular man that they were transporting? And a kid. Okay. Well, it was like yeah, bring your kid, kid to work day. I think that's that was the. You find uh, three uh, glitch. You find uh, there's two sets. There's two couches in here, obviously, and furniture and stuff. But you only thing you find really of worth. It's two pieces of art of ships that have been painted. 
be worth a uh, 25. Oh, that's what I wrote down. You didn't find 25 gold pieces. Each of the art was worth 25 gold pieces. Uh, mm. No, my notes clearly say we found 25. Gold. I misspoke. Each of the arts is 25 gold worth gold pieces. And you have found 15 copper and 15 silver. So Which three pieces. I imagine JP and I have not told anyone about. Yeah. So you do not get the 25 gold pieces. You find the artwork that's worth 25 gold pieces. How big is it? And what is it of? Ships. ships. Three ships. different oh. ships. One of them uh, you've seen before because you were transported on is the pure black with the harpies all over it, which is what did I say it was the last harpy. I've never been a fan of nautical art. <laughs> um, so why don't we hide the carriages somewhere for a moment and then we can go deeper into the forest and I there's no forest. This is, this is an open plane. It's just an open plane. Uh, okay, well, there's nowhere to hide it then. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, we can go a little ways away, and I can cast Liaman's tiny hut as a ritual uh, to give us a space to safely talk in. Cool. If Does that include like. grave dirt? That will involve grave dirt. Don't tell Fane. Fane. <laughs> Fane. You, you yeah. think Fane isn't hyper aware for any time that jar of dirt comes out? <laughs> <laughs> I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. <laughs> Normal people don't carry ground around everywhere. We're on land. Uh, okay. I'll work on None Fane. of us are normal people, Fane. Yeah, I don't trust any of your ancestors or my ancestors. If there's any way to discreetly get the car like the carriages out of the way, maybe we can do that, and then we can go talk and Liam. And I would say at least get the while. carriages out of the way, just in case okay. anybody that's trying to use this can. Okay. What are you gonna do with the bodies? Oh shit! Um, put them in. Them. Put the bodies in the carriage that we came in. Okay. Mm hmm. And then a lot of bodies. Set it on fire. What about let's the horses? Let's not set it on fire. Let's not set it on um, fire. No, let's leave the bodies here. <laughs> and then if we decide to go back to the to this living storage, which I'm vehemently opposed to, but if there's some sort of like strategic plan to do so, we just tell them that the guards died in the fight. And if you want, tomorrow I can raise a zombie and we can send the cart with a zombie and a little note. That'd be fun. <laughs> Um, is anyone strong enough to use the armor on this person? Because they're too heavy with it. I'm going to say yes. Yes. Okay, I'm going to yes. take one of the pieces that fell off and throw it at Kalis and take another piece that fell off and throw it at Glitch. It's just going to, like, hit him in the side. What the hell? There's That's the kind of armor that it is, but there's more. Take two points of blood genie damage, Kalis. I have a negative two strength. He would not. <laughs> you don't control the density of this armor. I control how hard yeah. I can throw it. Doesn't matter. You throw it, and instead of hitting him, it just drops like one foot in front of you. <laughs> There's lots of armor around. I still say we just gather all the bodies up into one cart. Let's so not just burn leaving them in yet. the. I'm not gonna no, no burning, but gathering bodies up that way nobody just comes across all these dead bodies. What if we melt them instead? Like why would we do that? Because uh, there's a pile of goop right there that used to be one of them. Oh right, I forgot. Turn that off. <laughs> it's still sizzling. <laughs> It's just cooking it? right now. Kayla's can't see it, but suddenly smells some meat. I can't. <laughs> I'm cooking. Also, Kayla's, I'm proud of you. I'm in it. Four. Because we're turning you into a real orc today. No. You you got at least like three of them today. Good job. Put metal armor on to them and do what you know needs to be done. Okay. 
heat metal. Is that what yeah. you're trying to say? <laughs> it's a D and D microwave. Yeah. I will. I will start removing the the armor from the one that I've been dragging, so that I can like have a pile of it for them to figure out who gets and it. That is like the only usable set of armor out of all these. The rest of them were either destroyed or melted. Is there uh, anything else on this person? Uh, the great sword. Pocket change. Uh, I like the great swords, but it's kind of nice. Too. I don't know if I love them. Do I'll each see. have a heavy crossbow as well. Mm. And we'll find eight gold pieces. I tell no one. Uh. Well, it's eight gold pieces. If you're searching all of them, well, actually, no, because one melted, they would have melted. Uh, I'll just say, if any, you find eight gold pieces and two silver pieces and four copper on that guy. Cool. I tell no one. All right, what are y'all doing? Once we've got the carts like out of the way, like maybe on the side somewhere, you gonna move them uh, around the other side of the mountain, or the yeah, rot, the rot side. Not, it's not a mountain, but like a rock cliff. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, then we we'll... move them both carts, and you pile the bodies in the old one. Yes. Yep. Then maybe we'll move like as I don't know, like a safe distance away where we're still inside of the carts, but not like like we'll be in a good position to see the surrounding area and uh isam will start like gather everyone around to make a little camp and start uh like make it maybe like a little fire for tea or are you something. keeping the cars know. within ra eyesight yeah and then he's going to circle he's going to pull his dirt out and he's going to motion Fain to come with him <laughs> it's okay, Fane. Just listen to me. All I want to do is talk. I won't activate this yet. I will stay on the outside. And As he's like slowly, like what, like, like, like dropping just like the little tiny pinch of dirt in the circle. He says, Fane, these, these aren't your ancestors. Mm -hmm. And really quietly, like hopefully, so other people can't overhear, to be like, it's a drow tradition, not an orcish tradition. And they're not meant to harm you, only to protect. Hmm. No, I, I don't trust it. If you stand on the inside, you can leave and come back. But when I activate this, if you're on the outside, you won't be able to come in. Mm -hmm. It'll protect you from harm, I promise. I owe you a great deal. You kept me alive in that last battle. I would be dead if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't do this if I thought it would harm you. Y'all can I feel mean, free to do the persuasion and all that stuff if you like to. This uh, this is pretty core for Fane. Anything about ancestors. I don't know if... And the drow would... part didn't make a difference. I'm going to let y'all handle it. I'm just saying y'all can yeah. have the options to do that between each other if you um, would like. Do you uh, want him to roll? What do you think? I I will I will think about it, but not now. Well, I'm casting the spell now, so you're either okay. gonna be in the conversation we're gonna have with the guy or you're gonna be out of the conversation that you have with the guy on the other side of a impenetrable hut. So that's the thing. I can be on the outside, thank you. You're not gonna give me a persuasion check on you? Just because it's specifically Fane has in her head that it's about ancestors, um, not not on this one. Yeah. All right. Well, keep watch for us. <sighs> so, basically, Liamin's uh, tiny huts. 
uh, can hold ten people, I think. Uh, it says nine creatures of medium size or smaller can fit inside the dome. Uh, all other creatures and objects are barred from passing through it. Spells and other magical effects can't extend through the dome or be cast through it. And the atmosphere inside the space is comfortable and dry regardless of the weather outside. Question. Does that nine or ten people count dead people? Dead people? Uh, do you really want to have a nice conversation? You're muted. With... You're muted, Juden. That would be, uh, they would be counted as objects, but they still take up a space. So I would say yes, because it's more of an area. Providence get. drops dragging one of the guys he was helping pull over to the side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's going to be inside the hut as he casts this? I think, I think everybody but Fane. Everybody but Fane, yeah. Uh, Payne, oh. keep keep an eye out. Yell if you hear anything. We're safe. Okay. I'll let you know if it's safe in here. Okay. Don't die or anything, please. He's wrong. Don't worry. Although then you'll be immune like the rest of us. Did uh, does Sean Pierre split the fifteen copper pieces and fifteen silver pieces? We yeah we we split it. Yep. Okay. But no, I mean, I'm talking about with everybody or just y'all two. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> uh huh. Just those two. Okay. <laughs> I, I have I have a mouse I need to get back, and he is a pirate. I was right. there, um, so that's that's why I get a cut. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. I'm just you know what? Y'all can handle the coin yourself. All right. I'm not. I'm not. I'm hands off. All right. All right. Uh, so. Right now, Fane is the only one outside. You pile the bodies on the old cart that you came up with. And how did you part the carts? Up against the wall. So when y'all, oh, well, I'm asking, did y'all cast a hut? Are you, which carts did you park? How did you, what order did you park them? Or did you park them side by side? You can see both of them. Yeah. So if there's any way to get them out of sight, like behind the rock outcropping, so there are people coming through. Might not see them. I'm trying to see if you have visual on both of them or not. We would yeah, like to have visual probably, on both cards. Yeah, probably. You or you or not, but what about everybody else? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Strategically, we need to have visual on both cards. Got it. All right. The blind jokes continue. <laughs> Always. All right. All right, uh, so you cast your tie. A hut was Fane going to be doing? Where is she just sitting on the outside of it, or what? Um, I'll kind of, I will probably spend about a minute or two doing like rounds around the hut, and then I'll get bored of that and go and start doing little like hand puppet shows with the dead people. Um, and like get get my mage hand going so that I can have three hands going at once. Mm hmm. And just end up spending the time doing that and occasionally looking out over the field because it's it's still we're in the middle well we're at the side of a big plane right mm -hmm. yeah so i'll like i'm looking out enough to see if anything's coming but just kind of playing with the dead people all right uh you're now inside with sir strong Frederick Strong. What do y'all want to do? What do y'all want to talk about? So you're looking for Craven? We thought he was dead. We were looking for some time and never heard, knew what happened to him. Why? He's a part of our order. What does your order do? My order, we are the order of the goblet. That, that doesn't explain. That doesn't what explain do. what you do. Do you just drink a lot? <laughs> we have locations in each city. 
that, that still Please. doesn't say let's, that's really, let, really cool. Let's say that. Let's just say let me talk before you interrupt me. I'm trying to explain, but if you want to interrupt me, so go ahead. Will you take long pauses in your speech? I'm trying to figure out how much I want to share to complete strangers. All of it. We just saved your life. That saved you. I mean, we at least know Craven, so. Listen, none of us are friends of the Black Order. Tell us more so we can find out if we can help each other. Gears persuasion check. Right. Nine. <laughs> I have to follow the first rule of the Black Order. Do not talk about the Black Order. I mean, I have to follow the first rule of Order of the Goblet. Do not talk about the Order of the Goblet. Okay. So. Let's just say that we are hired to do jobs for the good. Not for the bad. We do not endorse slavery. We may need to take down some corrupt people from time to time. We can help with that. They're just a mercenary group. That, all right. You're talking an awful lot about them for not being allowed to. You're also not there. <laughs> I, it, I just read the spell. It says nothing about not being able to hear through it. I just can't see through it. No, you can't hear through it at all either. I, it doesn't say that. I don't think you could. It says nothing about hearing. If you want it that way, then then I will take back what I just said. Fang, can you hear us? Up to Julian. <laughs> what does it say, Jr? Uh, 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 a 10 foot radius immobile dorm of force springs into existence around and above you and remains stationary for the duration the spell ends if you leave its area nine creatures of medium size or smaller can fit inside the dome with you the spell fails if its area includes a larger creature or more than nine creatures creatures and objects within the dome when you cast the spell can move through it freely all other creatures and objects are barred from passing through it. Spells and other magical effects can't extend through the dome or be cast through it. The atmosphere inside the space is comfortable and dry regardless of the weather outside. Until the spell ends, you can command the interior to become dimly lit or dark. The dome is opaque from the outside or of any color you choose, but it is transparent from the inside so we can see out uh, perfectly. So it is. Uh, and that is all it says. All it right. doesn't say anything about sound. <laughs> All right, so I'll allow you to hear them, but you cannot see them. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. I okay. see a bubble. You don't even yeah. see that unless he allows you to see the bubble. You can't see into it. No, no, yeah. no, no. I just well, you, see, you see, you you see, see the, the bubble. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. bubble's not invisible. It's an opaque you'll see color. Like, you'll see, like, some swirling shadows, yeah. like a dome of swirling shadows. How about that? Yeah, which is not boosting my confidence in it at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll just call that. Yeah, I can hear you, Prue. Oh, amazing. Amazing. That's good. That's good. Can you see how many fingers I'm holding up? Um, uh, five. Oh, so close. So close. Okay. I think that your, your spell is working like five out of four out of five. You have some strange people with you. Okay, back on topic. Um, so you need so Craven, you believe Craven was dead, and now you wanna free him, basically. Correct? I was just gonna go back to the order, but you just told me Craven's alive. What did Craven look like? Let's make sure we're talking about the same Craven. Tall, white to red hair, eyes completely black, about six foot tall. Pale um, skin. Pale skin, for sure, pale skin. Yeah, that's Craven. He also has a sister, but she's not nice. Look, Craven I was... don't know anything about his sister. The, I didn't know he Craven... had a sister. Craven was going to help us get out. 
and we were going to help him get out. But we got out without him. Because the so, circumstance is changing. Because they died. Because it good I murder. I'm going to I am going to make sure everyone gets out of there. And I know that Kalis is with me and and is Fane. I don't know about the rest of them. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Can you help us get Craven out? Can you help us free everybody else? Sounds like you guys had the plan, so what do you want me to do? Our plan I mean, is to free people. You're talking so about a city I did not know existed, so... Our plan is less of a plan and more of a goal? Hmm. Oh, it's a goal. It's like aspirational. Yeah. Okay. We don't know much... We don't know much about the city either. We do know it's extremely hard to escape the arena. We have a lot to learn. Before. Arena? Yeah, there's a whole yeah. coliseum down there. They make a spite. Yep. And of Craven the ten Champion. eyes. Yeah, the bloody ten eyed uh, arena. They make us fight in there, and Craven's the champion for them. Has that's been for the last about year and a half. That's, that's a weird name for arena. <laughs> Yeah. The whole place but is weird. It's because there's a big thing with ten eyes. If you were being... If we were told the truth, and it's possible we weren't, you were being taken to one of the families that makes money uh, in part off of betting in the arena and the spectacle it provides. I believe I was taken for somebody to take form of my position to get close to my boss and this so brings me back to the question I asked you earlier who took you did you do not see the harpy symbol oh you're blind I'm sorry uh, did you, any of you else see the harpy symbol we are aware they of the took group us that too. Yeah. took you but is there anyone in particular that uh, may have captured you that you know of? Did the people that the... were on this carriage kidnap you? Yes. Or were they just transporting you? They kidnapped you. They're, I don't know where they were taking me to what you just told me. But I believe that someone can change their body. I think they were going to take my position within the guild. The order. Is it po is it possible that the little girl was a changeling? Can mm. changelings bite really hard? Because she could not. <laughs> she was not an orc. So there is a possibility that somebody is masquerading as you right now. For all I know, or not yes. yet. Okay. For all I know. And when were you where... taken? About two days ago. And from where? I did not decide that. Hold on. Okay. Actually, no. I, I did decide who he works for. So, um, Yeldravia. That I don't have the map up. Hold on. That that tiny town near that weird. Arvinus, do you know? I don't know. Give me a history check. Well, we started... Stop medi gaming. <laughs> oh well, then I don't know. I I know nothing. Bane and I have traveled a fair bit. Can we can we roll? You can roll a history check. Thank you. I was like, have I ever heard of it? Read about 18? it? Eighteen. Eighteen. Mm-hmm. Nine. I got a total of zero. Fain and Providence, you travel, but just nowhere near there. Uh, what did you say the name of this town was again? Yeldravia. Yeldravia. Hmm. Uh, if anybody watched the uh, charity stream, this is where it took place. I was like, I'm very aware. You are very <laughs> aware, but it's your character <laughs> very aware. Kalis is not. Is it anywhere near Well, I'm Death thinking Valley? from Arnus' studies is what I'm trying to think of. Yeah, you probably read about it. So, Arnus, you probably read about it, like, more like, it's almost kind of like a folktale now. 
that uh, with an eighteen, I'm trying to figure out how much you would know. Uh, you you probably were read that years and years ago because this was like 500 years ago so the story would have muffled and changed that uh, something stemmed 500 years ago that made the forest cursed north of it and it stemmed from Yeldravia but Arunus would know Yeldravia is south of the cur the cursed forest of Wood Woodhurst. Mm. Sorry, something was happening. Um, I'll, huh. I'll explain that. How do you explain it in your elven tongue? In my elf, oh. in elven. What do you mean, in elven? I'm just saying. How would you explain it to the party? Okay. Um, but yeah, we do want to hear it in Elvish, so we're expecting a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> and you are older, so you probably would have studied it, a little bit more. Really you just call her old? Yeah, I guess. Damn. Okay. Um, I read it in my study. I do. South of the forest that was first somehow? It's a tiny town, like near, like non-existent almost. But it's been around for a long time, longer than me. Where, what part of the world is it in? Um, like, it's the. Sorry, I don't know how you did it, so I think. It's the so it's uh, outside. the Yeldravia is a. It's, uh, it's it is a uh, town that is south of the curse forest of Woodhurst. Well, what continent is it on? Losterin. Like Losterin. Yeah. Oh, it's in Losterin. Oh, it's on the Losterin. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Other side of the mountains. It's to the west. But that's where my boss was. But I've never met him or seen him. Can we meet him? How do you? I've never met order? him, so how would you meet him? How do you fight the Black Order from so far away? We have locations in every, our presence is in every city. If you know where to look. Everything? How does... Where do you look? Do you wish to join us? Do you have a place in Southhold? Is that one of my cities? <laughs> yes. Yes. What about Kirkwall? Also one of your yes. <laughs> you Elton? Is this in too? The only city I have ever been to is... Not the Elven in this. continent, no. Every city, so I just asked. Every city in Lost There you go. That's more accurate. Okay. Put like some elves on your team to help you expand. So just for clarification, I was asking. If we can get the treaty to be lifted, but you can just for clarification, I was asking about cities in the in the Crystal North. Oh, you are. Treaty to be lifted? What do you mean? There is a how should I say this? The Elven Empire and the Lostian Empire is not on good terms. Where have y'all been? Y'all been living on a rock for a few well, years. We've been down here for two years. Technically, yeah, what? she has. Um, yeah, you're the Elven people. They've like shut themselves up. That's why I thought you were a princess. Now, she she has she has bl brown hair. The princess uh, has blonde hair. God damn it! <laughs> 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 the, 
You okay, other people, look people look with sh- eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you can see Owenus look shocked and go, oh. Yeah, the princess has been missing for a few years now. Bru, we, we, we acknowledge, like, we made sure that we know that you're not the elf princess, right? Me? Yeah. I'm sure. definitely not. I'm definitely not an elf princess. I'm blonde. Sorry. I mean, that'd be cool. Mm. I, yeah, I don't uh, have the ears for it. The elven, the elven people are threatening war, but nobody has seen or heard where the princess went. Maybe the Black Order took them. I don't know. Back to the mysterious Order of the Goblet. You guys work for good. Unless you're willing to join us, I can't reveal much more than what we do, but yes. Are you good or evil? Can (laughs) Isam insight Kalis? to see if he's really this reductive. <laughs> <laughs> he was sir. I am sir. Whatever you roll, yes. <laughs> I love Kayla so much. Sir Frederick Sean says, I am the honorable. That is my title. We do honorable things for the communities. We take down bad people. There is... We keep us discreet in our locations. Now, if you wish to join us, because you particularly have skills that c- could be useful for us. If you want to join us, you can learn a lot more. Our witness is going to say yes immediately. Okay, hold on. Group huddle. <laughs> Mr. Mister Honorable. I can't see if he's looking in my direction. Yes. I imagine it um, being like made out of force. You're probably like yelling at the top of your lungs in order to be heard. Sir, sir. Um, <laughs> sure. Uncomfortable. Depending on how clearly I hear you guys, yeah. If I don't hear you clearly, I'm yelling. Um. Do do um, you get paid to do the the things? Because if it's a paid. Oh. Job, totally lose. Hey, okay, this. Hey, Liz. That's rough. But they he's like have... the goodest of all of us. Does anybody have Dang. a cam they can throw in? Not this time, no. Uh, I can. Hold on. I don't have. Find the link now. Don't have his artwork preloaded. Is that I am currently unemployed. What did you ask? I asked if, if if the work is for pay. Oh, he's back. He's back. Sweet. Sorry. I kicked something. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have our own currency within the order. Uh, we can, can you stand? I, I know this is going to be weird. Can you stand over there? And we're going to stand over here and have a really quick talk. Okay, Fane, can you come to the edge of the, uh, edge of the dome? Uh, uh, Sam, is that your name? Yes. I'm pretty familiar with the spell that you've done. I can freely leave and come back in, right? Yes, you can. Okay. I'll go out with the, the little green one. And he walks out. Fane, are you, you okay if I make decisions for us? Around. Yes. Okay. I'm just going to cross my arms and, and glare at him for calling me little. He's just going to cross his arms and lean up against... Oh, I know. He'll fall through it. It doesn't work that way. Fuck. He can try. <laughs> <laughs> He's just... Like, Bane's leaning against it, and then he tries to do the same thing. And like. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to walk over here. And he walks over, and where the you threw the bodies at, he's going to grab a great sword. And whoosh. So he's coming up close to where I've been playing with the dead bodies. Perfect. <laughs> that works. No, the dead bodies are in the cart, and you've been by the dome. I, I 
Sure. I went back to the dome. I thought the bodies were going to be closer to the dome. That's fine. No, we yeah. set them. Okay. Far. I would imagine you want them far away because once they start smelling, woo! <laughs> All good. So it's an organization. I'm assuming for good. He never set out right. Uh, he kind of did twice. He did, but, but you yeah. know, but people say things. He said time. he was honorable, and they did things for the community. So they did good but things for the good. He never said he wasn't evil. I'm just saying, I can use context clues. I mean, I never said I was evil, but, you know. They obviously have resources. Do you think they can help us people. kill us? Do you think they can help us get, get Craven out and, and save all these people? I think yes. Especially since we know that they've been looking for Craven. I'm not one to like use leverage, but um, that is information that we have. Um, I don't think you've ever met Craven, but He's kind of a dick. I, he is. Um, a little bit crazy, but um, he, he has answers. Craven at any at any point, Jugen? What? When I was working in the arena, would I have met him at any point? Or No, because he in never really needed healing. Area. Oh, he's that good. <laughs> but you know of him, but you've never really yeah. had to treat him. Like, I... So you can see that I can do, like, this, like, Bursty light stuff, and I've I've seen you can you can do it too. Apparently, we should talk about that. Um, but Craven can too, and he, he was much stronger than me. I, I need answers, unless you can give me answers. I also need answers out of Craven. But but also, there's all the all the people. They don't deserve to be trapped down there either. Even if some of them are dicks, like Eleanor. But I like her. So whatever. Isn't she dead? Mm -mm. No, she just was a coward. Um, okay, back on topic. So, are we joining or not? I vote yes. I'm in for all the way. Uh, Fane and I are a yes. Glitch, John, can you stick with me on if, this one or not? If I could say something really quick before you jump to voting. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All we know is that they say they're good, and they may very well believe that. This is a little hasty. I mean, I won't dissuade you from joining if you want to, but I would absolutely never join an organization, maybe in a loose alliance, to learn more. But based upon this little, it's, it's a really big leap of faith. faith. It's what life is. And didn't you say we need help again? You, like Maybe you see, like Isam just kind of blink, like, like it probably doesn't take much insight to know that he's like holding his tongue really hard right now. <laughs> as soon as Kayla says that, he's like, <laughs> he like swallows something. But yeah, having interrupts could be advantageous, of course. But I just, I'd urge caution. I'm not saying it's the wrong decision. I'm just saying. Knowing more is always better than knowing less. But he won't give us more. Until I we was join. like, yeah, this is a catch twenty two. Yeah, we want to know more, but we can't know more unless we join, we join. But we don't want to join because we want to know they more. Need us because we know more about Craven. He didn't even know he was missing. We hold more cards than you might think, Kalis. Oh. I know. I I mentioned that, and I said I'm not happy about using leverage, but we do have leverage. We don't have to oh, join. We'll get Craven and ask him about the black group, these guys. So that means going back in there underprepared. Without backup. Yep. I mean, and we need as many people as possible. Even it's not like, we're, try it's not like we're trying to it's not like we're trying to go break Craven out immediately. We still have the the um, the Vinsters. I, and I'm just gonna come out and say the obvious. I we can't go back to the Livingsters. 
Unless we go to kill them. We're going to bring them an empty carriage? cart, an empty mm -hmm. carriage, with like absolutely in there. nothing in it, and we've killed their guards. They don't know that we've killed their guards. The guards. I don't killed. think I can stand up to scrutiny and lie about that. Did I am you going see it? to be and very honest about this right now. Caleb, then you can wait Caleb. outside. Did you see it? Caleb. I did guess you, I can you... tell them I didn't see anything. My and we they understand my methods are morally questionable, and I'm I'm supposed to be the head of this whole plan. So we'll be we'll be probably fine. The, Listen, the Order of the Goblet sounds like a relatively or, old organization. If they haven't shut down the Black Order, the one, two, three, four, five, six, is it seven of us? I can't count. The yes, seven of yeah. us are not going to do it in one day and without as many allies as we need, as we can get. We don't know what the Livingsters game is. We don't know what the Webwells game is. We don't know who can be allies and who can't be allies. We don't know almost anything about the goblet, uh, the Order of the Goblet. Uh, we're not going to rush in and save, like Jean-Pierre said, we're not going to rush in and save uh, Craven by just a straight-on attack. That would be suicide. Oh, yeah. And I, I'm not saying we say yes to this guy and then turn around and immediately go. <laughs> I'm assuming that there's some kind of induction that would have to happen. I, speaking from somebody who knows ceremony, there's generally something like that that goes along with joining something as secretive as what this guy says his order is. I'm, I'm not trying to dissuade you. I'm just saying that I won't. What is our other option? Where are we? Where can we go for help? This might be our only But option. also, also, major question. Where are we? That's East Haven over there. Mm -hmm. But I think there's half of it. We're close-ish to East Haven. Oh, no. But... Fain, uh, your friends seem to talk a lot. Yeah, they do. What's Fain just... is just reaching into her pocket, throwing a rock as far into the field as she can, and then reaching into her pocket again, and just doing that over and over. It's a nice, nice trick you have there. Mm hmm what are your abilities? Um, I, I can bite stuff really good, and I can blast stuff, and I have cool cards. And and I used to, to have talk cream. about us. To talk about us. Hmm. But they're just normal playing cards. Interesting. Would you like to play a game while we wait? No. Okay. You can go back to the other people. Yeah, sorry. Mm. <laughs> I like to role play too. <laughs> um. <laughs> Providence is just kind of like standing there, sticking her sword in the ground and picking it up, sticking the sword in the ground. I was like, our options right now are. Go along with this guy. Mm -hmm. Go back to the Livingsters and try and figure our way out of whatever the situation is. And work from the inside by ourselves. Or figure out where we are and find the closest town. We don't all have to go back to the Livingsters either. We could close out our contract with them in some way. Uh, we don't have a contract. 
We are their property. Slaves. It was my and understanding because... that he was planning on transitioning into a partnership with you. If we bring him Doing with exactly. us. But if we I don't, don't want do that, that kind of no, They didn't know what was in the cart. At least that's what they said. Are you going to honestly just believe them? They did seem fairly new to this whole crime. I mean, I guess that's true, but we also didn't know it was in the cart either, to be fair. So he pulls out his like dragon chest set while you guys are talking and is kind of like playing with himself at the same time. And he says, the ideal scenario would not to have to be as to have as minimum bleh, speak English. I can't. Uh, the ideal scenario would to be to have as few enemies as possible and as the maximum amount of allies. This isn't an either or scenario. The only ally what? I can think of is <laughs> the only Craven. ally can, is Craven in that whole thing. We don't know if Eleanor's alive. And that's okay, maybe Rograth because of fame. But that's it. That's two. With the order, we might get more. I know it doesn't seem ideal to jump in from one to another, Isam. Especially being in this city for so long. But it's a sliver of hope. I'm saying you can have both without committing yourself to either. You can still part of how? being free. Uh, that that's fine. Part of explain being free, explain to me how. That's what being free if, is. I mean, if we if we that is leave, if we leave now, we if we leave now, we cut ourselves off from the Livingsters pretty much in forever. I don't think they're gonna trust us after this point. Uh, you know, leaving them. Uh, high and dry. Yeah, high and dry. I mean, they don't know. They don't know this guy exists. Pretty much, or to my knowledge. So if we let him free, uh, we have a connection with him into that order. Whatever. <clears throat> so we work from the inside. He works from the outside. We can figure something out. Or we can just leave. That's always an option. There's no one here stopping us. Which? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't want to go back. None of us want to go back. That, that's go also haunted by a city. <laughs> that's Kalis's big thing right now. Is he just? not want to go back underground. Um, I was talking them into getting me a boat, so I'm kind of leaning towards them, but, you know. <laughs> what if what if Jean-Pierre and I deliver the cart and negotiate with them, or attempt to? Split the party up more? We've already lost someone. Splitting up is only going to be a death sentence for us. We're stronger I... together. That's true. We all go or we don't. And as much as I don't want to go back down and underground, I will if it's for the greater good. There are things happening. And I don't know how fast they're happening. Here's another thing. If the Black Order thinks that the Livingsters are behind this assault, well, that might make them a natural ally as well, whether we like them or not. But these are just options. I don't mind going with you to the Order of the Goblets, but I'm going to remain on the outside of the organization itself. How close to nighttime is it? It was already it's night when y'all. Yeah, it was, was not when we started fighting. Yeah, it was. Oh, that's right. Night. Yeah. It's it's late. Yeah, it's getting late. Okay. 
At least we should send the cart back to incriminate the living stairs as much as possible. Oh, 100% the cart's going back. Well, that like, was their whole plan in the first place. They <laughs> wanted everyone the to know. Stairs. Yeah, the, the living stairs want people to know it was that. And they didn't really care what we did with the cart, with what was over in the cart. No, they, they wanted been... the cart. No, they wanted, they wanted it. the cart and everything that was in it. So we could give them the painting. I want the painting. Those are mine. John. <laughs> we have to give them something. <laughs> we can't give them the dude, so we have to give them at least the paintings. They get the cart. I get the paintings. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Could we use one of the bodies? Say they I mean they were I... shipping this person and then they died. And they accidentally got dead? Write a message in blood. I like it. I like where this is going. Make sure no. it's the gooey one. Is that because... not where this is going? Dang it, tough crowd. Right. Just, just make sure it's the gooey one so they can't recognize them. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least the not well butrin. Well butrin. <laughs> Quiet. The Woodwells. No, the Webwells. <laughs> the Webwells. Well, take this thing back then. Seems to be the smarter idea. Just tell that guy we'll work from the inside. This isn't an either or, Kalis. If we really are on a longer leash with the living stairs, or if we're moving into a partnership, we don't have to stay with them. Or I'm if you don't go, I'm confused. You don't have to stay with them at all. You're like, hold on. Like, above table, isn't Kayla's free anyway? No, not anymore. No! He took no. Manny's I'm spot. not. I took Manny's spot. Did, did you take his spot, like, as in a job? Or did you take his spot, like, no. as like, I took his spot like, as in I day? incurred his debt to the living or to the living stairs. I killed him so that you would be free, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> it's called a sense of duty. <laughs> and to be clear, that's all his doing, not mine. <laughs> it's the only thing I have left of Manny. His dad. Yeah, his dad. <laughs> his dad. <laughs> I mean that that actually is classic that, Manny. That pans out, yeah. <laughs> That's on brand for sure. Yeah. Um I mean if you're the commodity, maybe you don't have to physically go back, all of us. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I am fine with going back. I just need to know that we have... Allies. Ally, or a, at least the workings of a plan in action for what we're going to do. If we're going to use the Livingsters to get on their good side and use them to take down an organization or have them supply us with allies or whatever we need. But also, I feel like they're the kind of people that will only do this thing if it puts them in power. They are corrupt nobles. That is kind of how they work. I thought that was, you know what? I, I don't like the idea of helping them. They they are not good. They are keeping They're not people good slaves. people. The more that we help them, we are colluding with them. We are enslaving other people. I, I morally cannot stand by that. If we were working for an outside organization, 
from the inside, that's a different story. You know what? I think a lot of us don't want to go back in there. What if this is a this is a, this is a weird plan? I'll admit. What if Isam and I go back in there, like bring the cart to the web wells with like you know the little uh, notes the on them. The, no, like like oh. to send to be like the living sirs were here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. We don't actually talk to them. We just leave it in front in their front door, and then we get out of there. I have my I have my ways with my magic now, so we're. Uh, didn't the didn't the livingsters want the cart delivered to them? Like, I suppose. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just like no, I'm just asking for clarification about table not in character. They did. Right? They did. They did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're planning. I just figure it's like we're not going back to the the living sirs if we leave. So. <laughs> or uh, we could leave a note in the carriage, and I could animate a zombie and have the zombie like drive the carriage back to uh, the living stairs. That's a thing you can do? <laughs> yes. I think so, right? You're... I can animate a zombie, and I imagine I can instruct the zombie to, like, go to the living stairs. What do you After have? After hours, I lose control of it, and it starts killing people. But what else? <laughs> 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 animate, is, is it animate dead? What? Which one is it? Animate dead. Oh. That's that. I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. You know what? I, I like that idea. That's a good one. I mean, once given an order, the creature continues to follow it until the task is complete. I don't even see animate dead on your. It's a third level necromancy cleric spell. He would have to like. Undead servants. Uh, choose a pile of bones or a corpse. We've got plenty of those uh, <laughs> within range. Your spell imbues the target with the foul mimicry of life, raising it as an undead creature. Uh, I don't. Uh, it... Oh, you must not have it prepared. No, I would have to prepare it for. Okay, I was looking at your current spell list. I was like, I don't see it. I mean, I don't have any yeah, right. bell slots, so I would have to. Yeah, pick it, it would have to be in the morning. It would have to be tomorrow. Yeah. Do we just at this point take a long rest? I think we should figure out what we're gonna do before we take our rest, though. That's correct. I'm down for the zombie idea, that at least gets the carriage down there i'd like to see the zombie well i mean we'll no. see it as it goes away and i'm for this point and will be too uh, uh... and then they never said come back I mean, I guess they didn't. They just, they just we They never said for us. To uh, come they back. definitely said, right. "If you do this, we can work something else out." Yeah, that's that, that they, they insinuated you coming back. <laughs> well, I, it was it was assumed, uh, not said. The There's a difference. We didn't say it, <laughs> it wasn't written. We could, not we, our contract. We could, even, we could even note that says, "We we'll, the carriage was empty except for this body." Uh, we look forward to future collaboration. <laughs> I'm good with that. That's fine. Yep. Works. And then we follow the honorable man at least to civilization. Yep. The start. And we that can works. make a decision on if we're going to use the order or not on the way. Are you I think... okay with that, Jean-Pierre? I mean, you're not going to get your pirate ship. Yeah, I think on the outside there are many more ships. I guess it would definitely yeah. be their ship, not mine. So, I'm. I'll, we'll we'll find another ship and take it through questionable means. And it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Freedom. And if you think the two of us should go back live, I'm I'm totally okay with that plan too. 
Oh, I mean, I'm fine with leaving. I, I didn't, I didn't like him anyway, but they just, they just seemed like they, they wanted business and didn't know how to do it. So I feel like visibly having the carriage go back to the living stairs is definitely in our best interest. Yes. I like your zombie idea. We just have to defend the, the whole animating dead thing is but it gets the job done. <laughs> and Necromancy isn't inherently evil. Right? Healing is necromancy. Ta-da! Hey, okay, let's think of it this way. One person dies, and then you're bringing back a new life. It's like the net number of lives is basically zero. I haven't seen too much of I necromancy. I don't think that's how that works. I haven't but seen too also, much of also, I don't think there's really <laughs> Actually, anything in my tenants against it. Actually, I was wrong. Uh, healing is evocation, so I screwed that up. I thought it was necromancy all this time. I think it used to be. Them. Oh, is it? Yeah. I haven't seen too much of the necromancy stuff. That's where the like, drain like life right? and vampiric touches and stuff like that. Mm, there you go. Um, I think uh, revivify might actually be a necromancy spell. You're literally bringing somebody back from death. It's necromancy. Yeah. Yeah, necromancy. Speaking of which, me and Arwenus need gems ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> well, civilization will help with that. All right, what are you guys doing? Have y'all made a decision? Yes. Yeah, I suppose we do. Yeah. Are you I'm calling it back that. in? Yes. And I will let So, uh, Fane, uh, uh, is that your name? Yeah. You're, mighty, you're mighty beautiful for an orc. You don't have tusk or anything. How'd that happen? Um, I also used to have a really cool scar, and then a dragon killed us, and then we got better, and now we're immune to death. Um, uh, but the cost immune to death. So, yeah. uh, so yeah. How did that one happen? Because we got better, and now we have all of the cool immune system stuff to be immune to it. Can I get this ability? Um, if you want, I can kill you, and then we can send you to the people who bring people back. I don't think that that's how that works, uh, Faye. It is. The process. It's true. None of us have even died since then, but, like, we haven't even, like, fallen unconscious in fight since then. And we used, like, some of the people in our group used to do that every single fight. We're just immune now. Again, I don't think that's out that what's. It absolutely is. Is anybody going to call him? Because he's going to continue talking. Yeah, yeah. I'll call over to... It's like, you! Uh, whatever your name is, I forgot it already. Get over here. I'm going to kind of jog back and be like, I told Mr. Honorable that we're joining him. Oh, that's, that's convenient. Oh, we actually... Yep. Splendid! Yes, yes. Uh, the order of we gladly have people such as your talents. I'm confused. Is he over back with us now? Yeah, he walked in. And oh, okay, thank God. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he says, yeah. Splendid! I'm glad to hear that you guys are going to join. Uh, that, before, before you continue, let us elaborate on our plan. Um, we she are just said that you. you guys were joining us. Yes, we have we have more a little bit before that, but like you were this. So first, you're off, like eighty percent there. Eighty percent. <laughs> they're like ninety percent there. We need like eight hours of sleep, and then usually when they talk for a long time, it's because they're gonna go with the plan. Yes, and I'm the one who says the plan. Hello. Um, so we're gonna sleep. Plus, we're gonna uh, sleep uh, uh, Mr. Cold, whatever. Make the plan. Execute the plan. Throw away the plan. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, after a good night's rest, uh, our friend 
Isim here uh, is going to animate one of the zombies and send back send the cart back with it, um, or the, it's going to drive the cart uh, and send it back to. There, there's, this is this is like a, a whole complicated thing that is uh, is more of like an inside joke to you than anything. Uh, it doesn't really, but we're going to leave in the morning. That's the idea. And we're going to leave a note for one of the, the corrupt noble families inside of that mountain. I don't give a shit what to do with the noble families. I'm going to go save Craven with or without your help. That's fair, honestly. I figured I'd tell you first before we get this whole stick on the road. Uh, anyway, we will be joining you um, after that. In like, joining it's like, you on the road or joining him? On the road. On the road. On the road. Let's go. Godzilla. <laughs> I always say Kablamo. Yeah. All right. As you settle in for your long rest, we need to figure out how to get this cart in the most defensible position possible. Uh, and, like, where. Like, if we're just, like, right at the scene of the crime. Well, you, I, I, I thought you moved it to the back side of the thing where it's not easily accessible unless somebody uh, taking the road to go cover, up. Yeah, let's cover the tracks as well. Uh, if that's Keep in mind, if you leave the dome, it goes away. Yeah, I, I, it's already, I can recast it. Cause when oh, I you can? It, okay. Yeah, yeah. so I, this is a ritual spell. I could say it's 10 minutes. Mm. Um, I can also do my dome, and my dome is invisible. So let's like cover our tracks as much as possible first, and then like. Because it's getting pretty late right now, so I don't know how much more you want to do. Guys, like, we don't want to like we don't want to be like okay, here are these wagon wheels leading Actually. right to where we're hiding. You know yeah. I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. so, uh, it is a bright sky, so there's no clouds. I was trying to see if it's going to be raining or not, but it's not. I don't know. Does anybody have Pass Without a Trace or anything? Uh, no. no. Our witness might, but she stepped away from me. I can uh, cast this guy's self again. Oh. I... Can I prepare? You... Was no, we that can't prepare because it's conversation long enough for me to have had a short <laughs> rest? Fane, what's your passive perception? Ooh, not high. Um, 11. I can cast Flaming Sphere and just burn it all. Oh, two natural 19s. It's a ball of fire. Fame. Yep. As you're standing outside of this dome, as they're having this conversation. <laughs> so I rolled this a while ago. <laughs> um, you get an arrow in the back of your shoulder. Ow, you. And you take seven points of yeah, seven points of piercing damage as this arrow goes in your back. And as you turn to look and see what it is, that's why we're in tonight's episode. Ah, oh, fun. But did I get a short rest in that time? More for the spell slots than the hit points. No, because they are having a conversation, uh, but it didn't take an hour to have the okay. conversation. There were like two conversations that happened. It's fine. Yeah. Great condition for another fight, guys. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. <laughs> guys, we're, we're immune to death, except for like Fru and Isam. I don't know why you keep saying that, because it is not true. It is. But anyway, thank you guys for watching tonight. <laughs> Again, if you're not a member of our Discord, come join our Discord. There's approximately, what, three days, four days left of this giveaway. So come join our Discord. Go to the rewards, or not rewards, giveaways, and hit the ta ta da emote, and it is you in for these dice. There's hot cocoa dice, which is very popular, snow dice, and Christmas tree light dice. I know they're a holiday 
you know, dice, but they took forever to get in. That's why I ran the giveaway so long. There's two sets. You get a winner. Two people win each set. set. So I'll be doing that giveaway. It'll be the last giveaway I do until I get to California. And then somebody else in the Discord is going to be taking over the giveaways if they want to. Um, next time we'll be live will be some point this week. I a uh, lot... I got the Black Order miniatures I got to paint and stuff, so, um, which is coming exclusive to YouTube, so if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below with your favorite part or your favorite emoji, and we'll, we'll return with our favorite emojis, and, uh, yeah, 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 Black Order is coming to YouTube exclusive, uh, and there's no Dragonlance this week, we're a player that's going to be leaving early, so we decided we're going to have a meeting, or I decided they're going to have a meeting, they didn't really get a say in it. Uh, so we're going to have a little meeting and uh, go over some few things that's going on with the campaign. And then we'll be back next week for Dragonlance. Uh, let's see. I think that is pretty much it. Uh, uh, is all, uh, are you going to be doing that one shot anytime soon? Or uh, We'll see. Uh, we'll see. I just have to I – I've had a lot on my on my plate this, this, this No worries. Uh, I know we talked about it. We never ironed anything out. I don't know if anything's progressed with that. Uh, I moved all our gods over to the World Anvil link. I need to make a link for that for stream so we can just type it in. So, But the World Anvil link uh, for the world that we're building is coming along a little bit quicker. I finally figured it out, how to work stuff on there. So we're pretty good now. Uh, yeah, uh, just keep it a shot for some painting streams and probably some world building streams too. And at some point, I'll be putting out an, another YouTube video. So at this point, we'll turn it over to our wonderful streamers one last time. JR the nerd. So tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, I think, uh, Maidens is going to be taking a break for the week, and we're going to do Priestess Playtime, I think, is we ended, what we ended up naming it. <laughs> and no innuendos at all with that group. Uh, but, uh, it's definitely not a mature only stream. And then uh, on uh, Sundays, Boba is happening. It's about some adventurers who own a boba shop and are um, face to face with their mortal enemies, the beauty spa, Swampside Beauty Spa next door. Taking on Kenneth with a Y tomorrow or mm -hmm. next this coming Sunday. And then, oh, wait, no, that's off this week. We're going to do that next Sunday. So this Sunday, we're not doing that. And then on Saturday, we're also doing a campaign with Julian and Silver, who is, is stepped off for a second. And you guys can see them over on my stream every other Saturday. Yeah, make sure you follow Jay out and you'll catch me over on the stream on Saturday. And uh, Silver Wolf has stepped away for I don't know whatever reason, but she'll be streaming on Friday. Uh, she usually does first person shooter games, or if she's not, she's doing some scary games or something. So she be she, she streams on Friday. So make sure you tune in for that. And I think she starts like really? rather like eight ish or nine ish Eastern Standard Time. I'm not sure exactly, but she's really good at shooting people. With that being said, we love you very much. Have a wonderful night and uh, have a great sleep well. I feel so out.